Hi Stockfish, hi Limon, hi Kugel, hi Zori, hi Jopi, hi Jimmy. Wonderful to see you. Samoth, how are you feeling? Did you ever get better? Um, Henry, thank you for the five months. Subnata Carl, <laughs> I rev. VR Wingle, much better, no more Kobe. Yay. Very happy to hear that. When I got COVID, it was like hell for an entire week. And then I just kind of felt bad for like the whole month after that. Feeling 100%, that's awesome. Yeah, that sounds better than, uh, you had a, oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Google. Um, when, yeah, when I had COVID, it was like absolute hell for a week. And then I only felt like 80% for literally a month after that. Good luck, brown suit. Yo, hi, Jenny. Sorry. Um. Oh my gosh, Fred, that is a very, very, very much something I've experienced. Um, yeah, so a couple of times while I'm driving, I'll have definitely like, I think a lot of people space out while they're driving, but it has definitely scared me and made me anxious. And as a result, I don't like driving very much for that exact reason. So I can relate. Sorry if you experienced that too. The old ADHD anxiety combo. Aw. Oh, can we get some hearts in chat for Kugel? I'm really sorry to hear that. I have a whole heck of a lot of hearts. Sorry that you had that happen. Boombox, this game's amazing. Underwater spider suit. That's why you keep grinding on rocks with the cyclone. <laughs> or the cyclops, right? <laughs> wow, Rokal, I'm amazed you caught up. We've been playing quite a bit of this. Hey, Big Al, welcome. Hi, Young Savage. Alright, let's do it. Uh, today, we are going to... Let's see, I should change the... Um, I should up... Date progress. Still attempt one, right? <laughs> right? I'm impressed. Uh, Kirkle's prawn suit exploration. Great. 1200 meters, I think, is something, is where we're gonna go. I have not died, numbers, not once. We have almost died, I think, four times, but. Yeah, we almost died to like the jellyfish danglies because I didn't realize how much damage they did to me. We almost ran into one of the big, I think they're called Leviathan or Sea Dragon. I haven't figured out the exact right name for them. Um, oh my gosh, the moment that sucks. But yeah, uh, we've almost died to a variety of things. And then I've almost died to running out of oxygen twice. <laughs> Um, okay, I want to take off some of these beacons. We have far too many beacons on right now. Oh, I might go back here now. I wonder how my prawn suit will fare in that area. Hmm. But um, this one is probably the most interesting one to go back to right now. Actually, the eel cave... The eel cave had lava, or um, what do you call it? I call it lava. They're like thermal vents. I don't know what they actually are, but I am assuming the prawn suit can handle that. I might try that out. And yeah, we're gonna use the prawn suit and the cyclops today. No more Yoshi. Sea dragon is a type of Leviathan. Okay. Did you fix the descriptions? Oh, uh, what do you mean? You've only watched the first VOD. Um, Vivian, I would recommend watching uh, YouTube instead, unless you just want to get spoiled on everything that we've done. We've done a lot. So like, I've done like 20 more hours. Let's see if we start the timer again, since that point. Um, I can, uh, I'm gonna post another YouTube video probably this evening. So um, the second YouTube video will be out this evening. You don't know the name for sure, you just scan it. Yeah, see, that's why I don't know, because I sure as heck ain't doing that. Mm. Oh, the links on Carl Plant. No, boss guy, I forgot to do that. Um, let's see if I can... I 
do that real fast. Wait, where exactly are the links? Is it under about? No. Is it in the videos themselves? Is that where the links are broken? It worked for me. In the description of every single video. That's so weird. Maybe it's a mobile thing. Oh! Oh no, I see. You're right. <laughs> I see. You're right. Wow, it's not all of them, but it's if you scroll down far enough. I see. Okay, there's only a couple of them. All right. At least it's not all of them. Oh man, we got water. Let's go. This water machine making machine is so nice. Prawn suit drill arm. I'm trying to decide if I should get rid of the repulsion cannon or the stasis rifle. I feel like I should get rid of one or the other. I don't know which one will be the most helpful in a bad situation, but the repulsion cannon works really well on the warpers. It just yeets them. So I feel like maybe we get rid of the stasis rifle and keep the repulsion cannon. I just want to get some more inventory space. Hmm. Maybe we'll just keep both. Um. Okay, this power cell is charged. We should put that. Um, should put that on. Okay, what is the situation right now? I think my seamoth is here. Yeah. Let me see if I have anything in the seamoth storage. Can't remember if I do. Oh, I do have some junk. Let's get this junk out of here. I will say I like putting the po one power cell in each of the vehicles just in case I ever do something stupid. They'll have them there. I do have all the storage in the Cyclops. This is very true. Um, for that reason, I'm going to start carrying, I think, three first aid kits on me, just in case. May as well. I've got this extra water, too. Okay. Um, I'm about ready to go exploring here now that we have all of our new stuff. Um, I just gotta decide where to go first. There's, oh, I love our little poster. <laughs> oh yeah, we should wait. Wait, I want to check on the babies. Happy scary fish finding. You're two weeks in. All right, we're loaded with work. Oh no, you mean in your classes? Look at this. We got <laughs> tank full of babies. Wait, where is the cute one? Didn't get eaten, did it? Wait a second. <laughs> oh, look at that one. I love that one. D D T T. <laughs> they're all cute. Yeah, that's true. They are. I don't know if they're gonna grow any bigger or not. Damn, that's a big eye. They are all cute. Really, you like? You think this one is too? Mm, I guess it's cute. It's got like got some big pug energy. <laughs> All right, um, let's see, what is that? Oh, that's the camera, that's right. For anybody who missed it, we now have our Cyclops. The Carl Box. Where's the name? I want the name. The Carl Box, <laughs> yes. It's so cool. Uh, wait. Go away, you nerd. Wait, I should eat it. Oh, where'd it go? Wait, how did I lose it that fast? Wait, it's fucking right on top of him. Get yeeted. <laughs> oh, I love the repulsion cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nerd! Stay away, nerd. Oh my god. Alright, let's uh, just fill up real fast and then we'll go on an adventure. Boom a ring. Ring a boom. Alright. I do love the sound design in this game quite a lot. Wait, why can't I grab you? Alright. See how far they go, even above surface. Amazing. Okay. 
Uh, nom nom nom. Um, boomerang. We'll top off with that. Um, we have all this salt from our salty thing. May as well make some salty food. Did you make us the fabricator on the Cyclops? I haven't yet. Um, I was a little bit concerned it would drain the power, but like, I don't know how much power it's actually gonna drain. People tell me not to really worry about it. I was thinking about doing that though. Oh no, what am I really gonna fabricate while I'm out and about? But yeah, okay, I, uh, there's two places that I wanna go. Um, so when we, let me see if I have it written about somewhere. Geologic data maybe? No, indigenous life forms. Uh, there's two things that looked interesting to me. Under the sea, we found giant cove tree. Um, yeah, ghost leviathan eggs. The tree branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated ghost leviathan. I don't think I have that one yet. Yeah, wait, reef back leviathan. That's just the nice one. And then the sea treaders... Uh, those are just the nice ones. Yeah, the only ones I have scanned are the nice ones. So I don't know which one that is. Um, but anyway, there was an area here that I couldn't get to because um, my sea moth couldn't go deep enough. Um, so we could take the prawn suit there. That's option number one. Um, the other thing I was thinking is in the area with the... Um, let's see. Did I think I scanned... Sand shark, stalker, warper. Wait, what are the oh scavengers and parasites? No. Did I not scan the Oh, I don't think I scanned this um the danger noodles. Yeah, I don't think I did. But in the area with the danger noodles and all the mushrooms, what were they? Uh there were a bunch of vents, thermal vents. And I feel like the prawn suit could do something there too. So I was thinking about going to either one of those places again, or just exploring somewhere completely new. I don't know. Maybe I'll try going somewhere new first and then to one of those second? I don't know. High impulsive fabricated can be used to make the necessary materials for the Cyclops upgrades on the spot. That sounds pretty nice. Potential bases. Yeah, so that's the other thing is we could try building a new base. Um, it's really terrifying when you're exploring a new area and you hear a new sound. That is very true. I wonder if someone can make a golf course with the propulsion cannon and a peeper. <laughs> Except the one time you stole one's baby. Yeah, that's true. I did. I did steal a baby. Um, okay. Let me see real quick here. I want to try to... Can I get on top of this? Aww. Oh, I can! Yo, that's sick. Um, okay. So basically, to the south is where we found that other life pod. I haven't explored to the southeast kind of area. Yeah, I haven't explored past the Aurora there. I don't think I've explored to the east either, but let me get my major beacons up just to sort of remind myself where I've been and where I haven't been. Uh, the Stalker Doom Lair, the Eel Place, the Research Facility. Mm, this is the... Um... Where is it? The rendezvous point was the other island. There it is. The dry land rendezvous point. And then this like underwater habitat down there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then like the giant tree underground. Okay, cool. So yeah, if we notice, look at this. All the shit that I've explored, there's like a ton of it in this area over here. And there's a decent bit of it down there, but I haven't really been this way at all. I don't know if there's the only downside, like the only thing keeping me from going this way is that's where I saw the huge, um, the huge beastie it was like right over there. And then once right over here, it's the only thing making me not want to go there. But I haven't explored that way at all. So the options, I guess, are to go back to one of these areas. I guess I haven't really explored straight over here, though. That one... Yeah, that one's not so much far away as it is deep, I guess. 
I think what I think the way I came in was I went over here and then there's a trench like down there and then I went down under there. I wonder if you can access it from somewhere else. So I haven't really explored straight that way either. Uh, is there a beastie cliff? I ran into it a few times and then I, I just literally just ran as fast as I could in the opposite direction. Um, got a knife, you'll be fine. Uh, okay, do we have any more clues? There's also another clue here. Uh, let's see. Codes and clues. Um, we do know that there's a thermal power f facility inside a natural rock formation where there's intense volcanic activity. So anywhere that I find a lot of volcanic activity, that's why I'm considering finding this thermal power facility, which is cool. Um, I believe the only other... Uh... I believe the only other bit of information that we have uh, is maybe this one. No, where is it? Alien data terminal. It's not it. Hmm. There was something else somewhere that had an idea of where to go next. I mean, there's this containment facility. Oh, yeah, constructed in a volcanic region. So basically, what I'm thinking is we need to find volcanic region. Um, I'm not too sure where to find that. Um, let's get looking. Which is bugging. Sorry about that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Knife is glowing now. Online. Oh, uh, now I can auto cook fish. Yeah, this thing is so cool. We got this thing last time, and uh, we're gonna pilot it in just a second here. We also caught it on fire, which is always fun. We also have our prawn suit, like massively upgraded. We got the jet upgrade, so it jumps higher. We got the grappling hook arm. We got the death module. Um, we also have the drill arm. Mm. So uh, we're definitely going to take the prawn suit out for a roll. Is there anything in the storage here? Specs jet. Oops, that acid mushroom isn't supposed to be there. We've got some extra storage, and I don't know I keep like keeping some supplies hanging out just in case I am stupid sometime and forget about them. some extra powers in there that's good and um i'll just uh drop this acid mushroom off get it some other time all right cool let's get going let's uh let's do some exploration oh it's gonna be night that's like the worst time i could go back to the stalker doom lair giant trees under there hmm just build a bed. It doesn't work, right? Does it? Does it actually work? Can I pass the night by building a bed? It works? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. I am amazed that actually works. So it's under the... Um... Um... Here, I would take a hint. I don't know if you... Uh, it works. This is Minecraft. Um, Flips, I don't know if you, you're, I think you're still here. Um, I would take a hint for like, is there anything worth exploring in the direction of the Aurora? Like past the Aurora? Or would I be uh, wasting my time exploring that direction? Because that's the main area that I haven't been to yet. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah. Um, I want to do my uh, fabricator. Habitat Builder. Oh, uh, let's see. Bed. Oh, I guess it's miscellaneous. Huh. Commandeer- Command chair for commandeering. Wait, does that mean I can get things from the vending machine? Double bed. Single bed. One titanium, one fiber mesh. A bench. A sign. Oh, the sign is how I can label those things. I see. I see. Uh, 
past the aurora is the edge of the map gotcha so there's not much that direction other than just the edge i wonder what the edge of the map actually is that's kind of weird um okay well my my self-preservation instincts tell me not to go there because those are the closest areas i've ever been to to finding things that look like they're gonna kill me so uh i don't really want to go barging over there um Okay, what am I doing? I'm gonna put a bed somewhere. Uh, where do I want a bed? Bed, 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 bed. I don't really have a place for a bed. I guess we're gonna plop a bed right here. Bed. Oh, I need one more titanium. Okay. Bed. <laughs> uh, this is fine. It's perfectly normal place for a bed. Huh, really? Wow, this is actually Minecraft. All right. <laughs> this is just Minecraft. All right, I'm cool with this. Oh, first time sleeping in like three weeks. It's fine. Sweet. Oh, it looks like it did take some food and water. Hmm. Interesting. But this also filled up with water. Still probably worth it though. It's just harder to navigate at night. All right, we're good. Actual animation for getting in bed. All right, in that case, let's go looking for some lava. The only place I remember seeing lava was here. Uh, so let's do that first. Wait, that's not there. I mean, that was, that was a lie. I meant here. This is where I first remember seeing lava. <laughs> there was another place I went that had vents on the bottom, but I don't remember where. Oh, there were vents in the... Uh, the research facility area too. Those are just vents, I think, though. The only place I've seen, there was a, uh, I got lost somewhere. When I first tried to find the research facility, I got lost somewhere and there were tons of thermal things there. Don't remember where that was though. That was, actually I kind of do, that was, I need to change the names of some of these beacons. That was over there. Wait, that was back there. All right, let's go. Engine powering up. Engine powering up. Damn, I love this thing. All right, let's go. Um. Not, don't hit stuff already. How am I already hitting stuff? Okay, hopefully it's nothing. <laughs> I'm so bad at piloting this thing. I always hit things. Okay, that's... Oh. Is that really where it is? Yeah, that is where it is. Okay, you're right, because there's that cloud. That's interesting. The other clouds move, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that one doesn't move. That's like the one cloud that doesn't move. Hmm color-coded them. Yeah, that would make some sense. Um, okay. Um, so this other area isn't even in the same direction, I don't think. Oh my god, the turning... <laughs> the turning radius! <laughs> this isn't even in the same direction over here. So that... This place had some lava, too. Let's go here first because it's closer, and then we'll uh, go to the other place after. Can I? Does it hurt the sub to hit these uh, bushes? Let me try. I'm just gonna plow right into this. Ugh. Yeah, it's fine. That's nice. Network error. Is Twitch having issues today?
This is gonna be good prawn suit practice too. Am I hitting stuff? It's fine. All right, here we go. Engine powering down. Nice. Now we can test out our new upgraded prawn suit. Yeah. Enter the prawn. Ooh. I'll go over here real quick. Nope. All right, we got our grappling hook and a drill. Da -da 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 -da. I wonder if I want my arm too. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Enter the prawn suit. Yes. Unlimited power. Is that one of those sand shark? Whoa. What's this? So oh my gosh, I'll take that. Yes, please. Let's solve our silver ore issues forever. I think you'd have lots of fun with two gravels. You can do that? I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, yeah, see, there's lava here. This is good. A lot of people keep saying that Twitch is down or they can't see stuff. Anybody know what's going on? That's so weird. It's working for somebody, right? <laughs> Do you have a Voz channel? Oh, uh, yeah, exclamation YT. Oh, the app is broken right now. That's really weird. Um... Yeah, exclamation YT, go to the Carl Plan 42 channel and you can watch Subnautica from the beginning there. I'm gonna upload episode two of that today. In fact, I could upload it right now. Maybe. Come at me, bro! Where are they at? Okay, ran away. All right, so before we weren't able to go down into here, but now we have the prawn suit. Let's see what happens. Oh God. Okay, wait, maybe I don't just jump in. Hold on. Is there a gentler slope? So I'm not just diving into that. Wait. Yup. Okay, I think this was a safe, oh my gosh. I think this was a bit safer right here. Yup. Let's go, prawn suit. Is that gold? I don't want gold. Too much gold. Whoa, look at that. Let's go over here. Whoa. It is very hot here, so hopefully we're okay. Probably don't want to go in that. <laughs> I'm too scared to go in that. If that's what I'm supposed to do, I'm not gonna find out for a while because I am way too scared to go into that. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Hmm. Surely not. Let's follow it though and see where it goes. Oh yeah, Twitch is clearly having issues. Let's follow this area and see where it goes. I don't like see anything necessarily down there. Oh, that fish though. <laughs> fish are just fine. <laughs> Surprisingly heat resistant fish you got there. We could steal more babies. Prom suit. Prom suit. Da 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 prom suit. Da, 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 suit. Hmm. I can't I actually need lithium. I guess I should just grab it. Nope. Only taking lithium. 
All right, let's get horribly lost down here, chat. Let's go. Why am I stuck? I'm stuck on something. I will take some. Look at it. Yeah. Diamond. Uh, maybe I need more diamond. It's almost like they have evolved to fit their environment. Oh, I don't know about that. I didn't see any danger noodles this time. Where are my danger noodles at? Can I walk on these? Whoa, I can. All right, I see more lava things over here. Surely I don't go down into those. Oh god. I <laughs> just about fell down into it. Surely I don't go down into those. Oh. Lava secret. Oh, this game is scary. I never know what's stupid and what's like, cause it did tell me I need to go to a lava area and that looks like a lava area to me. Which is down for EU apparently. Dang, what's going on Twitch? a mistake to go into that <laughs> all right i'm gonna keep looking but there may come a time that i go into one of those but i'm currently too afraid of, to do that let's uh drink some water it looks pretty deadly yeah oh my god that's what i wanted let's go our lithium woes are finally solved Maybe you're supposed to put it in a bucket. is full. Let me look at how much we ended up getting in there. Uh, oh my god, we're we're set. That's really, that's perfect. I don't even need any more. Alright. Well, that was really helpful regardless of what else we find here, but let's keep on looking around. Hello, Snick. I can't scan in this, can I? I wonder if this will try to attack me if I get really close to it. Ooh, maybe I can scan it. As long as it doesn't seem to attack me, I'm gonna try scanning it. What's the worst thing that could happen? <laughs> uh, shit.
All right, let's read the crap stain. Uh, all right. Um, carnivores, crab snake. All right, it's not a leviathan. This live appears to live in symbiosis with local flora. All encountered specimens have been located within 50 meters of jelly shroom, frequently within the plants themselves. The jelly shroom provides the perfect lair from which to ambush their prey, which I just found out. The presence of crab snakes likely deters herbivores from feeding on the jelly shroom itself, thus ensuring the relationship continues. Crab snakes display territorial behavior. <laughs> Assessment of void. <laughs> Alright, well, I might need to get the punch upgrade or something. <laughs> Unlimited power! Unlimited power! Unlimited power! Unlimited power! Unlimited power! <laughs> Jesus fuck. I'm sorry! I was overcome with the unlimited power of the prawn suit! Oh shit. Oh. Okay, I feel bad actually. Mm. It was all fun and games until I realized the consequences of my actions. But can I build things out of you? Damn, so you can actually kill them. Wow. I'm in I'm entered the tube. Whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna regret my actions. Snake is cute. All right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, where's my Cyclops? Car box up there. So I don't know what else to do here other than jump in the lava, and I don't feel like jumping in the lava is something I should probably just willingly do. Uh, yet. If I can't find anywhere else to go, I will jump in the lava. But... Presumably I can find somewhere else to go. Get the... I often hit these and then totally lose... Oh, is that it? That one. Let's get this one. Oh, it's a okay. It's a nerd. Integrating new PDA data. Oculus. Oculus, small edible prey fish. Biter. Avoid packs, try not to bleed. Oh. Vicious pack hunter, 94% muscle, 2% brain. Dang. Almost always hungry. Oculus. Assessment, edible. See why it's called that? It's just a giant eye. Hundred percent reason to remember the name. All right. Well, um, I guess let's go back. Okay. 
Let's see if we can get the prawn suit out of here. Grappling hook. <laughs> Go away, nerd. Grappling hook. JK grappling hook. No. Oh, let's go! That was some Spider-Man shit right there. Grappling hook. Grappling hook. Damn. All right, prawn suit. I am digging. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I messed it up. I messed it up. We're running out of power. There we go. Yoop. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Cool. Uh, wait. Where's my? There we are. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I mean, yeah, there we go. Welcome we'll grab to a wall. You can let the boost recharge. Yeah, that was. I I was experimenting with using the boost to get a slingshot, uh, and also doing that makes you want to play Spider-Man. Makes me want to play Worms Arm again. Uh, 92%. So will it recharge while from the Cyclops? 93%. It will. Sweet. All right. I think we're good to head on over to that other area. Engine powering up. Let's do it. Where is? Let's go ahead and um, turn on all these extra beacons. So we don't need, I don't want that one. We don't need that one anymore. I am interested to do this one as well. There we go. What the heck is that one? Oh, I remember that one. All right. There we go. I think that's the entrance. Yeah, that's the entrance. Damn, that's pretty far away, though. That is pretty far away. Uh, ALS, welcome. Remember those arrows or speed? Get there faster. Yeah, ha ha, chimey. Nice try. Do you have tablets on you? That is a good freaking question. You know what? Smart idea. Let's uh, stop off and get some of these. Status on the Cyclops. Um, I've upgraded a bit. There's a couple more upgrades I want, but I think I need Kyanite before I can get them. So we haven't found Kyanite yet. We have no idea how to get it. Um, yeah, I already um, I already tried boosting the speed of the Cyclops and caught it on fire. So we're not doing that again. Speed is good. I don't want to catch it on fire again. Hey, we hit things. Typical day in the Cyclops. How do I repair the Cyclops, actually? I should look into that. Has it taken any hull damage? Hmm. Engine powering down. Um. Let's move storage of the important items like the rune tablet thingy things into the Cyclops. So it's just there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, sweet. Where are they at even? Oh yeah, I can unload all my junk too. Here they are. So we've got the purple one and the orange one. Yeah. May as well mostly put this stuff on the Cyclops as well. And you know what? I will take an extra one of these because I got <laughs> nibbled on. Um, all right, cool. Let's... Uh,
Put those in there. Uh, I'll take that and store it. Put our tablets in here. Actually, I'll probably bring them on me. Yeah, I'll probably bring them on me because I'm going to go there. Maybe I'll run into something. Okay, cool. Um, I also had a bunch of crap that I forgot about in the prawn suit. Let's dump all the lithium we got. Nom, 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 nom. So you can build lockers inside the Cyclops. Yeah, I figured, but I got so much already. And I know I could like build a fabricator and stuff, but I know it also drains the Cyclops battery. And, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it adds that much more. Um, might fill up our storage here, we'll see. But we are set on silver and lithium now, which I'm quite happy about. Need a locker just for kidnapped eggs. <laughs> uh. Wait, that's not the right place. <laughs> All right, um, well, it's about time to get another locker in here. <laughs> Let's see, but, oh no, I mean, I really don't have, I guess I need a lot of materials for the, uh, can I toss a locker in there? Bed, maybe the bed's gotta go. I need, probably should just build a bigger thing. Oh, overflow locker, it's fine. All right. What I'll probably start doing is building some of the like individual components that cost a lot of stuff. Since I'm gonna need those eventually. All right, I wanna explore. You can add a second story. Oh shit, I should do that. That sounds nice. Um, Yeah, let's explore, I wanna explore. Do am I forgetting things? I have the tablets. I got tons of supplies. I think we're good to go. Oh, I'll just um, top myself off real fast. Catching some fish right here. They're easy enough to snag right here. Do, 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 do. Then we'll be ready to go. Two of these guys. Uh, whatever. I would take one of the water dudes, but I didn't see one. Wait, I saw one. Yeah. All right. You know what? Beacons are a good idea. <laughs> that is a very good point. We should make a beacon. By which I mean 10 beacons. Um, still don't remember how to make beacons. Oh, more creature decoys might not be the worst idea at some point. I only got one, I think. Um, maybe I have two. Copper and titanium. Super easy to make. Um. <laughs> okay, I think copper is the next, like, oh my gosh, copper is the next thing that I need to drill. Holy moly, we have no copper. <laughs> Where do I find copper? Can I search for, wait a second. Can I search for veins or whatever it's called? No, I can't, can I? Or are there none in range? Surely there would be one in range. Oh, that's sad. I'm really surprised it won't let me search for things to drill. Hmm. Is that something else? I think it's gold. Yeah, it's all gold. So much gold. So very much gold. Can you scan them? Oh, maybe I didn't scan them. Uh, well, we can make one beacon. Yeah, I have like way too much gold. Never enough. Copper. 
Um, oopsies, I didn't mean to put that in there. What I did want to do is put that in there, and I just throw that out. All right, let's go. Beacon making. Kitsune, thank you so much for the six months. Hello, hello. All right, um, for anybody joining us, we now have a Cyclops, the giant sub. And we are going to go deeper than we've ever gone before to a super scary alien research facility, giant tree museum, skeletal fossil death land of doom. I don't know, I think I turned the wrong way. Whoops, I should have gone the other way. The turning radius. But um, previously, oh God, oh God. Should be more careful, but this is hilarious. <laughs> uh, I'm amazed that it didn't do more damage than that, all things considered. <laughs> all right. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> Bring an extra fire extinguisher. I was thinking about it. All right, we're going under. This is where we want to go. <laughs> it's literally bigger than my base. Yeah. Oh, the Cyclops. It's hilarious. I love the Cyclops. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, um, but if we actually, ser seriously though, if we see any like copper veins, we should mine them because screw copper. Mm. Damn, it's so cool, look at this. Deeper. But we don't want to hit the back, so. I think I hit that fish. Greetings from Sweden. Glockta, welcome. How deep does she go? Quite deep. I don't think I've ever hit the limit of how far it can go yet. The prawn suit, I think, is the deepest that I have, though. I think the prawn suit's 1400. Um, there is a depth module for. Oh, shit, I don't want to hit these. Uh, there's a death module for both of them, I believe. But I don't have the materials to make it yet. Um, let me make sure I don't hit anything. Oh! Alright, let's uh, go back to the camera systems here. be these guys attacking the ship? I don't know. Um, let's do the cameras so I don't hit anything. attack? Hmm. 
What do you mean, creature attack? Okay, where's my beacon? Okay, right down below is where we need to go. Maybe I just hit like that guy or something. Oh no. Oh, uh, where's the entrance? I guess it's down there. All right, we're, we're taking her in. Chat would like to hear the Haran, please. All right, I'm a little worried about it automatically killing me though. If I'm attracting something huge, scary beasties. Bunch of those dudes right there. I mean, my gut instinct is to leave this. Oh damn, this music's sick. My gut instinct is to not try to navigate this in any deeper because I think it's gonna get like stuck down there. Um, I don't know though. So I feel like I'm gonna just drop out of the prawn suit right here, and we'll be we'll be good enough. All right, you guys want me to hit the horn? Where's the horn? Imagine a creature just destroys it while I'm down here. That would be so bad. I got loads of water. I think we're basically good to go. Release the prawn! Um, I should bring one additional... Yeah, I have powered down the engine, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I should bring one additional power cell. I'm just going to bring two power cells just for extra, extra backup. Hmm. The sound of the Viathan mating call. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go. Am I going the right way? Yeah, that's where I want to go is over there. Could I have brought the thing through here? I mean, maybe. Probably be a nightmare. Uh, all right, let's see how much faster we go if we just launch ourselves like that. What if we kind of do this? Oh, it was too far for me to grab. Is there a flashlight or not really? I guess this is just as much of a light as I get. Trying to see what the fastest way to like grapple is. That's pretty good. Not like that. Oh, is that? Oh, <laughs> yes, please. Broken mirror, they 15 months. Bro, did you already scan the big fish that you saw last time? Scan it before? Can't scan it. Scamming, but no scanning. Um, all right, hopefully I went in the right entrance here. I got a little bit lost, but only a little. Am I still? Okay. There we go. 
I wonder if a warper can warp me while I'm in this. Down we go. Prawn suit. This looks like a different... I don't know. Something looks different. This is where I was looking for, though. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Non-polynomial. Thank you so much for the five months. It's greatly appreciated. Here we are. This is the place I know now. Can I just walk through this stuff just fine with the prawn suit? Appears like it. Sweet. Drill nickel. Holy crap. I mean, I don't know if I need any more nickel, but like... I guess. I guess we'll fill up. Man, I feel like the play is to just rush the prawn suit and then just drill these things. Like, screw doing anything else. <laughs> screw picking up resources manually. I don't think I can scan it. Yeah, you can't scan these. We're basically set. Um, I think you need to jump forward before the grapple hit pulls you for more momentum, kind of like a running start. Okay, let me try that. Yeah, I because I've done it a few times where I've gone really far, and I want to try to figure out how to do that consistently. All right, storage is no room. Good enough. I kind of want to just go drill a freaking warper. What's the worst thing that could happen? <laughs> Maybe once we've completed some more of the game, in case it kills me, but I think it'll be fine. get airborne to get the most momentum from the grapple. Yo, this area is awesome, by the way. This area is so cool. Did I scan one of those? I think I did. Maybe I want to do it like that, but grapple more like... How's this gonna go? Oh, that's it! Yo! That's the way right there. I can actually just Spider-Man this shit! Let's go! Oh, that's actually sick. Down we go! Spider-Man this shit! Spider-Man this shit! Spider-Man this shit! Yeah, there's the tree. Oh shit! Dude, the prawn suit is epic! Yeah, okay, I'm kind of curious what's in these pools. So I was not able to go this far below. Yeah, now we're past 900. This is the furthest down I've ever been. What's in you? Surely I won't just die. I won't just auto die if I go into this, right? Oh, let's go. Maybe there's new things down here. I don't want to get out of my suit though. Ooh, there's lots of stuff to mine down here, but I don't really want any of it. I'm kind of full up. I could drill lithium and uranite. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> you know what I really like about this area? I think they did a really cool job on this. It looks like we're not actually underwater. And it looks like there's just a river and trees. So it's almost like they brought a non-ocean biome into the ocean. Uh, which actually does a really good job of kind of breaking it up. I don't know, it's really cool. Those are the deep streams, I've already gotten those. What happens if I grapple downwards? Oh, that still does pull me forward though. That actually works still. Cool, okay. that before it goes any worse um okay we basically got infinite water and like a hundred food uh, hopefully we'll have plenty and i can always hit a few fish if i see some 
I think I can actually survive down here. If I see a random fish floating around, I might hit it. But yeah, where do I want to go now? I'm hoping one of these things just says kyanite. No, I think that's yes. Neon. Whoa, what's over this hill here? Holy shit, that's so deep. Holy shit, look at that. Is that where I want to go? I see some ground down there. Let's go to the ground. YOLO! 360 no scope! Alright. Dang. Um. It's like a waterfall, yeah. You made a base here? This sounds like an epic place to put a base. Whoa, I don't know if I've seen this one before. Okay, I'm assuming it's safe to get out. Okay, I didn't auto die, that's good. Anything new to scan? Whoa, music did weird things. There's a warper over there doing warpy things. Uh, I need a beacon probably. Let's go ahead and drop our beacon here. This beacon will be um, like bottom of the waterfall or something like that. And a beacon named waterfall bottom below tree. Below tree. <laughs> bottom of tree okay I'm really curious what's in here this looks fine hoping maybe we'll find some new materials down here it's just like lots of lithium there it does seem like going in these is a really high probability of getting those ore veins so which is cool I'm not sure if it's safe to come out of my prawn suit while I'm in under that stuff because I want to get that ruby I, mean, I guess there's only one way to find out. Surely I won't auto die. Okay, I'm actually safe. So I guess we're going this way. Whoa, this area is crazy. It's getting redder. Warper up there. Oh, there's warpers everywhere. There's like 20,000 warpers here. All right, we're going in. Yo, oh shit, that warper was right next to me. I don't know if they can warp me in the prawn suit. I haven't seen it happen yet. Um, they can warp me in the prawn Welcome suit. Aboard, Captain. But it's Oh yeah, it's fucking off, dude. Um. Whoa. Whoa. What's the maximum depth? I currently have. for the prawn suit death it doesn't even say on it <laughs> come on game uh it's in yellow by current depth oh 1300 is what i'm saved to okay cool 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 okay so we're still okay we can't go too much lower more copper more copper what's that up there that looked like a pile of skulls it's just a teeny Oh, this is pretty sweet. I think I might be able to overheat, but the prawn suit seems fine. Okay. 
Damn. Okay, so the research facility, if I'm not mistaken, no, it's not called research facility, is it? It's containment facility. Um, thermal power facility. It, it says area of intense volcanic activity. That has to be here because that's at 1200. I'm at 1200. There's volcanic activity. That has to be the place for that. But there was another one, and I lost where the thing was for it. I thought it was an alien data and a specimen research. Um, and I think they were saying that, right, single specimen captured for study at containment facility located in a volcanic region at 1.4. So I can't go to this one yet, but I can go to the thermal facility if we find that. I like how there are random fish here, by the way. <laughs> I see a fish just swimming around up there. Surely this is safe, right? I'm not taking damage. Whoa, lava fish. Magma rang. That feel when you cook the magma rang. Okay, let's read the entry before we eat it. <laughs> what is this thing? S specimen with symptoms of infection? Um. Maybe contagious. Do not, under any circumstances, consume the flesh. Wait. What? Is that me? What? <laughs> um, okay. So we just scanned this thing. Um, this organism, blah, 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 dark coloration. Uh... I haven't, don't worry, Flips, I didn't read chat for anything. Whenever I'm in a new area and I'm worried about spoilers, I just don't read chat because that's the only way to avoid spoilers. Uh, dark red coloration helps this subspecies to blend into igneous rock environments. Orange detailing resembles active lava flow. Marginally bolder than its shallow dwelling cousins. Oh yeah, no, the thing that was telling me not to eat, by the way, wasn't like, it wasn't the fish that I just got. <laughs> it wasn't the fish. I think it, it's a specimen of symptoms of infection. I don't know. I think that's referring to me, but I'm confused as to what that's referring to. Or if that was maybe something I scanned at some point. But anyway, I think I can eat this. So rather picante. All right, nice. So I can eat some random fish here. Didn't mean to open storage. Uh, oh, for Jing. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Still haven't found um, any new materials though. Last time finding the nickel was actually hard and finding the sulfur was even harder. So I'm like, am I just missing materials or have I not found any yet? Let's check what that is. That looks like copper, yeah. All right, let's keep looking this way. Spider prawn. Ooh, is that something? What's that? Is that just a rock? That is just a rock. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Mm. I'm hungry for new materials. I want to get that thermal upgrade, the one that was like, it would just charge while I'm in a hot area. Like I could just maybe go sit in that and charge up. How cool would that be? Also, I really wish I could have had more than one beacon, but hey. Is that just literally like a sandstone or whatever? I guess I'll look at it. Titanium. What are you? Oh, that's nickel. Eh, sure. I think I have plenty of nickel, though. Whoa. Okay, I'm almost at 1300, so we need to be a little bit careful. I probably have to go up here. Don't want to hull damage, etc. Yeah, not too sure I can go down there. Not sure I see anything down there anyway. It's too dusty. 
quit kicking up all that dust. Oh, that lava over there looks cool. Okay. I don't think I see anything. Is your pond see red like a crab? Yes. We're at the limit of where I'm able to go. Can't go any further down. Gotta be careful. Oh, what's that? Is that something I've seen before? That looks like, I think it's just diamond. Oh yeah, I just realized I can just go down there because somehow that makes some sense. It's just diamond. Okay, too hot right there. <laughs> that was too hot. Don't seem to be able to do anything with those. Whoa. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh jeez, don't fall into that. That would be GG. That would be a way to die right there. <laughs> what a way to die. Where are all the bad guys at? Would you live down here in the lava depths of doom? Oh, jeez. Uh, 1,200. Okay, I should be able to go down here. Um, oh my gosh, I keep kicking up dirt. I'm just trying to look for stuff. Lots of copper. That's lithium. Oh, what was that? Did I just hear something? Oh, there's a bunch of warpers over here. Warpers might be a little dangerous. Uh, if they like warp me into the lava, that would be the dumbest death of all time. You just like get auto warped and I don't think that thing is new. I don't think I've seen that before. I'm not a huge fan, I'm not gonna lie. That's nickel. Sure that's like nickel or something. Wow, that looks a bit like hell over there. Jeez, this is so deep. Um, I am thinking about getting more beacons because I'm not going to be able to find this entry. Well, there's the. Maybe I'll be able to find it from that beacon. All right, I'm gonna go look a little bit further here, but otherwise I'm gonna need more beacons before we go here. What's that? This is way bigger than I thought it'd be. How does this game just keep going? This is huge. What's that sound? What's that sound? I don't like hearing shit. But I don't know what is constantly. Um, what's that? Look at that crystal right there. That warper is guarding it. Oh, there's one right here. Now, can I go down low enough? I think so. It's close though. What am I hearing? What the hell am I hearing? Oh shit, am I hearing that? Or is that just one of those things I saw before? There's those guys up there too. I'm realizing I could explore up from here. It does say Dove 1200 though, so I feel like the facility should be around here. Alright, let's not go down too low until we need to. So, oh, jeez. Alright, let's make sure that I can actually go... Holy shit! Okay, I have, I'm, I'm not too low. This is fine. There's something just swimming around right there. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, this area is wild. Oh, giant crystal! That has to be something. Drill Kyanite! Let's go. <laughs> the fuck? Ah, calm down! Okay, what's in my storage? Mm, what do we want to get rid of? I want copper, honestly. Let's unload the nickel as much as I can into here. And then let's fill this up with kyanite. 
Um, yeah. Honestly, let's yeet the diamond. Well, let's see how much kyanite we get, I suppose, but... Sweet, we got kyanite, let's go. It ignores... I, I don't even care about the monsters anymore now, I'm just like, kyanite! <laughs> Scan the fish. See, I'm thinking if I go back soon, I can use this kyanite to make the thing, to make the stuff that I don't have. Though I forget exactly what it is. I mean, there's a thing that recharges while I'm near lava, which is pretty cool. Some more kyanite right there. Holy shit, so many scary sounds. It's so big, this place is huge. Jeez. Okay, there's a lot of stuff over here. Is that fish dead? Where'd that fish go? What's that? What's those? Those the things that were sucking on me? What's the worst that can happen? Lava larva. Lava larva. A grub-like species which appears to lack sight and smell, but it's able to sense and drain thermal electrical energy in its immediate environment. Suction cup. <laughs> Will release if it comes under sufficient strain. Torso. Thick scales protect from extreme temperatures. Behavior. Uh... Oh, remove to conserve batteries. Gotcha. So it drains it drains my battery. Oh my god. That's a good reason to get the upgrade right there, actually. Um, okay, I'm just going to run really fast and uh, grab a drink. I am very thirsty. Be back in two seconds. <laughs> I'm also thirsty in game. Nom nom nom. Okay, um I'm gonna eat a fish. Is that a different one? Okay, what does it say about that one? Red eye eye. Small or or They have really like eyes in this world. <laughs> Thermal vision, low calorie count, edible. Uh, light based eyesight is impractical at these temperatures. Is developed thermal vision. Okay. Yum. So I'm pretty good on food and water, just eating the stuff here. That's kind of nice. Um, the real issue is the lack of beacons, and then I don't know how much deeper I'm gonna need to go here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Whoa, those things though. So many crazy sounds down here. Whoa. Everything's fine. Somebody friends made out of. Thank you so much for the 32 months. I really appreciate it. You absolute 
They're just gonna sit there draining the battery while I'm gone. That's actually so sneaky. That is so sneaky. Okay, Crimson Ray. One of the largest rays on the planet. Um, do 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 do. Forward mounted eye sockets. Hmm. All right. Cool. Well, um. I think the smart play is to get one more thing of kyanite. If I have any more inventory room. I think I have some more storage. Wait, how much storage did that fill up? No, I only have two inventory spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's gotta be enough though, nine kyanite. Um, I could even ditch some of that, but I think the smart thing to do is to go back, get a ton of beacons, get some upgrades, and then we'll come back. Wow, that's actually close over here. I wonder if there's any way to get up there. Probably not. It'd be really nice if there were though. Hmm. All right. I don't want to die. So we're gonna, Co, we're gonna go back, get our upgrades. Ooh. This might be a mistake, but Lava Lizard, hello? Lava lizard? Oh, uh, you can take emote only off because I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. Um, lava lizard. Avoid, especially in the presence of lava foe. Ooh. <laughs> Designed to do maximum damage. Oh jeez. Um. Didn't die yet. Yep. Exhales loudly. <laughs> Let's, uh... Yoop! Let's go back. I don't have any more... I don't have any more beacons. Nyom. I missed. My bad. Spider Carl. Oh, it... It's interesting. It, like, updates it as I move. It doesn't just go to where I had thrown it. Yo, this is so cool. I love the grapples. I missed! Ah! Okay, we're good. Going to over there. Is that gonna reach? Nope. Dang. There we go. Getting the big flings, I still haven't like super figured out yet. To like really grapple really fast. We're getting there though. Too high. That one didn't help that much. That was pretty good. Vertical height. Which is good. Stop trying to... I feel like I can feel a warper trying to warp me. Quit it, nerd. There we go. That was a good fling. Woo! I think I'm still going up here. I can't remember. Whoops, I should have released the grapple. Uh, there we go. Tunnel found so much longer. Yeah, see, that's what I figure. I'm probably gonna be able to get back here really fast because now I know kind of what's dangerous and what isn't dangerous. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we're, we're getting it down, kind of. Okay, we lost it, but we had it for a second. Once I get the like full spider grapple down, we're gonna be zooming. Let's see if I can get some speed by grappling ground like that. Oh, kind of, but I lost all my height. Didn't really help. Don't 
think that's gonna help, yeah. I don't quite still understand the best way to grapple, but we're learning. Probably don't want to get too close to one of those guys. Eh. go. Mm, probably don't want to go right next to that guy. Oh. Yum. Not quite sure where I'm going. I think it's up here. Do I have to go up there? I can't remember. Ooh, that worked pretty well. Oops. I didn't release the grapple, and so it just killed, like, all of my... No! It killed all of my momentum, and then I got stuck in a tree. Ay ay ay. Alright, that is where I went. Nope, not helpful. If anybody has grapple tips, I'm down for grapple tips. How do I... There, that's... That flings me. That's actually a good fling right there. I'm stuck. You're doing about as well as you ever do. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Can I? Oh! Oh man, if I had swung around that, that would have been epic. That, the sideways ones don't really seem to give me a lot of speed. Oh, unless I stay, oh, I just went right into a warper. Let's see how this goes. bring my Cyclops to here if I want it to like, save a little time. It looks pretty safe to get to about right here. I mean, oh, I almost did bring it here. Yeah, I almost did bring it here. Last time we saw this super big boy here. A little bit. I feel like I'm here and shit. That's a good grapple. Is that the super big boy? No. the... Where's my sub? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, okay. I'm a little worried about Super Big Boy. Oh, I just almost went into that electric dude. Probably don't want to touch them. I'm worried they're gonna, like, drain my battery. Play Diva. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I didn't come back and this ship is just destroyed. Oh, I think I had those off. Does that save power or not to have these floodlights on? Or does it not change anything? Oh, there's a fire extinguisher here, too. With another fire extinguisher there. Hmm. Lights don't drain power. Yeah, I heard conflicting things, so I wasn't really sure. Engine powering up. All right, let's go. Well, now we got tons of kyanite. We got tons of copper. Let's make a bunch of beacons and make some upgrades, and then we'll go into that final little bit there and hopefully find the research facility without too much longer.
Barb left the Cyclops at the edge of its crush limit and came back and it was destroyed. Oh no. <laughs> Since when did knowing where the fire extinguishers are save someone? They have changed the do light strain power thing. I've noticed that a couple of times people are confused about what takes power and what doesn't. So I noticed I just drained a bunch of power. I am assuming that's because we charged back up the prawn suit. Will Carl survive 24 hours? Oh, I'm already at, I'm just about at 25 hours, so too close. Oh, I see, you're trying to scam people. <laughs> Why does it explode instantly? Like, why is this even an option? Um, I figured that the lava larva were able to do that based on the fact that one of them already stuck to me and then it said in the thing it was draining power. And then I noticed that it was stuck to my, uh, my suit even when I wasn't in it. So I felt like just leaving my suit there, if one of them got attached to it, it would just suck all the power away. So, um, if I can get the upgrade to go even deeper, and that might be actually what I can use the Kainite for, that'll be really good because then I won't be constantly worrying about accidentally going too deep. Part of me wonders if I should bring the Cyclops further down into that area. Um, the downside is I think I might be faster in the prawn suit just because I'm going to get the Cyclops fucking stuck on something. So I think what I did last time is probably the play and just go really fast in the prawn suit. Can you build onto something? One of the, Can you build onto those friendly floaty Leviathan thingies? That would be cool. I don't know. Oh yeah, whoops. Um, Engine powering down. All right, let's go snag the battery. Pop in a fresh one. Oh yeah, um, gotta empty our storage. Let's see what we can build, because I'm actually not even remembering exactly everything I can build. What the fuck happened here? Oh yeah, I did ram the Cyclops into my base now that you mention it. I did do that, didn't I? <laughs> there was in fact a point when I rammed the Cyclops into the base. How do I fix this? <laughs> uh, repair tool, question mark, smiley face. Where's the problem exactly? Wait, what did that say? This is so bright, holy shit. Why is this so bright? Where's the hole? Okay, it's from the inside. Let's go in. What happened here? Ah, uh, you're still going. Thanks, filtration machine. I mean, I'm assuming the hole is down here somewhere, but I can't see shit, so... How do I do anything about that? What? A little bit confused. 
Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, um, definitely not a janky game at all. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Uh... Oh, shit. We're pretty underwater, huh? How long does it take to drain? Oh, there it goes. Look, you can see it draining. <laughs> it's fine. I hope everything's waterproof. Well, um... <laughs> can check these, uh... Here, let's drink some water. Prawn suit. Okay, I think we can- oh, we can get the thermal reactor with just two kyanite. That might be nice to restore energy. Um... Oh, but I would have to take something else off to put that one on. Um... Okay. And then... It's the other station, I think, to build. Modification station? No, that's not right. How do I build... Maybe it's on the Cyclops itself? What happened? Uh, I crashed the Cyclops into the base and broke it. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, let's um... Let's charge this other power cell. Oh... Um, okay, these lockers are full, but we can stash some in our overflow locker here and eventually we'll do better storage, whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So we can... Where do I get... Wait. Where do I get the prawn suit depth upgrade? Or can I even get one? I think I can. Um, vehicle upgrades. Oh, I don't even have that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Two lithium, five titanium, three kyanite. This is the one I want. So it's from the modification station. Okay, cool. Let's get that one. Then the prawn suit can go as deep as we want. Three kyanite. Okay, let's go get our resources. So. Um, so if we do the upgrades, I guess we'll take off this one and then we'll upgrade it. Yeah, there we go. Let's get the kyanite. Going to be using that and some copper. All right. Uh, I guess having a fabricator here would be pretty nice. Huh? <laughs> um... Where are the Cyclops upgrades? Those are here too, right? Let's see. Access upgrades. So I still need to put three more upgrades into the Cyclops. What do I have into it? I just have the number one depth, energy efficiency, and the repairs vehicles. Okay. And then what's on this side? Uh, Cyclops upgrade fabricator. Oh, okay. So I can make the better stuff here. Decoy tube upgrade. Sonar. We can't make the sonar yet. So I can make the shield generator, the decoy tube, and that's it from this. Well, let's focus on the prawn suit for now. That's the thing I want to upgrade more. Welcome aboard, Captain. Saltwater makes great soup. Miso. Mm, I love miso. Um, was it you? Yeah. Prawn suit death module mark two. We need five titanium and two lithium. All right, cool. Should have that somewhere. Um. Uh. 
Uh, well, I'm gonna need to put some of this stuff away. Don't need the copper right now. I'll come back for it later. And I don't need that much kyanite. I'll come back for it later. And I need two lithium. There we go. Okay, now our prawn suit can go even deeper. Don't have to worry about that anymore. That's nice. The Cyclops depth module. Just need three nickel and a plasteel. I may as well make that. Oh my gosh, the Cyclops can get a level three. Do I have the level two? I don't think I even have it. Um, I think I even have it. But I might want to get the thermal charger. It feels like I should at least have that on me. Yeah, the thermal reactor. Okay, two polyaniline and a wiring kit. That's what I need for that. How do we do that again? Uh, uh, HCL is made with three deep shrooms. Okay, so it's basically just a bunch of deep shrooms that I need. All right. Um, well, thankfully, we have plenty of those. Uh, let's replant some of these, though. What? All right, cool. Uh, I still need one more. Um, what else do I need for that? I need salt. That's easy enough. Yeah. Mm, dangerous acids. And then I just need to add gold to it. So please get rid of my gold. I have so much gold. Now we should be able to make it, unless I've forgotten something, which clearly I have. Wiring kit, that's two silver, I'm learning. Take it the cat poster. Now, at first I was like, ugh, all these posters, and now that I have my base, I'm like, I want more posters. The base building ended up being extremely fun in this game. Yeah, it recharges power cells in hot areas. All right, now we do have to remove something for that, but maybe I don't need the storage. In fact, maybe I don't need the drill arm or the storage if I'm just explore if I'm just exploring a new area. Hmm. I'm almost at the point where I don't need any more resources, but I'll probably give I'll probably do one more thing. Probably do one more uh, thing of kyanite. I'm probably gonna run out of it. Okay, I think that's all I need for now. I just need a bunch of beacons. Let's make an absolute boatload of beacons. Copper and titanium. Still need more copper again. <laughs> oh my goodness, am I really out again? Well, that's gonna be enough, yeah. I think four beacons is plenty. We can make a fifth. Right, we need to find more copper. That's what we really need. Oh yeah, you're right. It's in the prawn. I think you're right. I was like, I'm pretty sure I had more than that. Loading up the um, Cyclops with storage with beacons isn't a bad idea. Well, there's a way to make beacons on the Cyclops. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what do I need to make a fabricator? Let's see. Titanium, gold, table coral. Titanium, 
gold table coral all right you convinced me i'll bring a couple titanium with me also um jk might be out of titanium now all right <laughs> what we need to do is what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add literally four more storage chests and then they're gonna be actually sorted if i can make a room actually on top of this that would be epic let's see how might this work do i have to um deconstruct my solar panels maybe hmm. all right i'm gonna clean out my inventory real fast welcome aboard all systems uh, online. Let's real quick. Let's put our beacons in here, and then let's forget about them. I can't. I can't wait till we forget about these beacons. I'm really looking forward to it because we're going to be moving a bunch of stuff around. We can just store stuff that we're not going to use right now in here, and then we're going to do some management, and then we'll come back to that in just a second. I'm so excited to forget that all of this stuff is here. I can't wait. Actually, I almost want to build the fabricator right next to this storage stuff. Can I just put it on the wall right here? I totally can. All right. So now if we need to build stuff, we can just do it right here. That's nice. It will drain the battery, though, so. Um, let's go put the prawn modules in. Yeah. We have the extra depth module. And now for this... Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is leave the thermal reactor. What I wanna do is I'm gonna leave the thermal reactor in the storage of the prawn suit. And then I'm gonna swap it on, fill it up, and then swap it off. Rather than just have it on all the time. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. Mm. just a better power efficiency module i could see it as long, i mean as long as i'm in the hot area yeah i don't know exactly how hot i need to get to recharge it but i'll play with it when i get there and then we can decide which one we like more um we shall see uh, yeah i figure if we're not in lava biomes then we'll still want the other one okay I probably need more titanium. Sad day. Yeah, I think I already looked and I don't have any more. Well, uh, next on the list, I suppose, then, is going to be uh, expanding our base a little bit more. Or maybe just building a new base. Building a new base might be pretty fun. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything else I really want to build right now. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. We got the good stuff. We got beacons. We can now go deeper. We can now regen if those things sucky suck all of our energy away. Building a new base would be cool. At first I was thinking building a base would be like horrible down in that area because of all those dangerous sea creature dudes. But near the tree itself, there's doesn't seem to be anything dangerous. So I do like the idea of having a base there. If this place keeps going even deeper right there, then that's probably the play. What's really strange about the progression of this game is it is seeming to be really tied to that one area. And I was thinking maybe that's why I kept... Oh my gosh, look at how bright that is. Maybe that's why I, it felt like a lot of areas just kind of I kept finding that one spot. It was almost like the game is kind of siphoning me into it. And I can't help but think that that was done on purpose because that area seems very important to get to. Like you need to find that area. I wonder if that's how they designed it on purpose. Yeah, like if you want to go deeper. Oh, yo, hey DK, it's going great. At 100 health, will it increase it? Nope. <laughs> Gotta wait till it goes to 99. All right, as soon as my health goes down to 99, then we can have that. Um, This thing isn't, oh, it's cause I didn't cook it. I was like, why isn't this thing going bad? Mm. 
Yeah, I just, I was thinking about it, and I guess you wouldn't regen, ooh, that's 30, huh. Um, I guess you wouldn't be able to use solar panels down there. I still haven't figured out how the thermal energy works yet, but I guess I need to try that out at some point. Handcrafted maps greater than procedural. No, Sisyphus, I agree with you, though, right? Like, I, is that a controversial opinion? I completely agree with you. What's in these? I've completely forgotten what's in these. Oh, I guess a bunch of crap I don't really need. Yeah. I see why I left that stuff in there. Okay. Oh, sand shark egg. <laughs> I should probably put that in the tank. Any new radio messages? What's in here? I've completely forgotten what's in here. Oh, I moved this all out. Okay, hey, oh, there's another egg. I'll take the, um, I'll take the creature decoy though. Creature decoy could always come in handy. Um, let's check on the babies and then we'll get out of here. Littering, maybe. Welcome aboard, Captain. Babies are looking good. <laughs> I said, "Don't at me." I get three at it. <laughs> Almost definitely uncontroversial. Well, okay, the advantage of something being procedurally generated is that it's different every time you play. So like a roguelike has, it, it's not gonna wanna be handcrafted. I mean, I guess unless you handcraft a thousand variants, right? And then you randomly select from them, but that's why you don't do that because that's not feasible. So I guess for certain things, procedural is better because it allows more variety. That's how I look at it. Um, well, I guess I'm dumping some random crap in here. Here, whatever. This can just hang out in here. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe I keep the creature decoy on me, TBH. Um, let's see. All right, um, I wanna bring three health kits, some extra food. Okay, that's like too much extra food though. <laughs> okay, we'll put that one back. I don't need that much food. Actually, I can just cook, I can just eat the fish down there. So like, I really don't need, don't need much extra food while I'm down there. I'll just leave it in here. All right, let's do it. Wait, it's the wrong way. Procedural Subnautica would be so jank. That's the other thing too, is it can prevent uh, unintended things from happening because this game, I mean, I guess like the beauty of this game is how complex some of the systems are. I don't know, like it's amazing that the crafting works as well as it does. And that like, <laughs> like I mean, there's some jank, I guess. People are saying they've like beached their Cyclops and stuff. But overall, like the game has, the game has played pretty smoothly for me given how many really interesting and complex things it tries to do. Grappling around on the prawn suit, being able to like navigate everything otherwise, like there's so many things that all have to work together. Um, I feel like something that this game does really well is the mob aggro, by the way, because stuff will kind of like come at you if you get too close and, and like, there's definitely some dangerous creatures, but they're not frustrating. I haven't found like, even the warpers, like the warpers are absolute trolls. Um, but I haven't found that like any of the creatures are really, really frustrating. They're mostly just cool and scary. They made a game, a lot of the game, very clean polished, then janked up some trivial stuff. Yeah, that's what it feels like. That's it. I was talking about that earlier. It feels like 95% of the game is extremely well polished. Like the fact that you can like dock the prawn suit in the Cyclops and it just generally works well is surprising to me. But then there's like a few things like the Aurora is kind of shit. <laughs> like the draw, the, the tech, it's, it's less like a, a aesthetic thing, but it looks very bad. Um, like up close. I guess some people were saying that it used to just be an image, like you didn't even used to be able to um, 
go on to it at all. Do you think the permadeath added a lot of immersion? Absolutely it did. I think the permadeath made it, made every single new thing that I explored way more interesting. Land movement is also surprisingly jank considering how well the game does swimming. Yeah, I guess they just, you know, spent most of the time designing the game underwater. The aura feels like it's made by the guy that was just doing an internship at the studio. I do wonder if it was like, if they were just done with the game or maybe they just had other priorities or they wanted to make Subnautica 2 or something. Cause if they added it pretty late into the game, texturing a ship that large is a lot of work. So they rather focused on the beautiful underwater environments. Yeah, and that's the thing too, right? Like the underwater environments are gorgeous. So like if it was going to be making the Aurora look a little better or making the underwater time look a little better and they only had enough money, resources, manpower, whatever for one thing, then I, I like, you know, they've of course made the right decision. I, yeah, Essence, I didn't realize, see when I first played the game, one of the first things I did was going to the Aurora. So um, I didn't realize um, that it wasn't going to be a bigger part of, part of the game. So it, it did surprise me uh, then, but now I don't care. The Aurora was originally nothing, but players kept going. So the devs added radiation to keep people away. Then players found a way around the radiation. The devs relented and finally built the Aurora. <laughs> That's really funny. I love that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I agree. Oh, the affirmative makes it pretty fun. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just really glad nothing stupid has killed me. That's the... Uh, I've been very happy with how they did the, the difficulty of the game. It doesn't feel any like anything was up there. Wait, I feel like I might have forgotten something. Let's see. I did! I don't have the... <laughs> I don't have the tablets! Uh... Drill, drill, drill. I don't have the beacons either. <laughs> Always forget something on my way out the door. Literally, just like real life. All right. Um, not this. Okay. And an extra power cell is good. All right, I got one on me already. I think one is plenty. Surely I can't drain that many power cells before getting back, especially with the thermal upgrade thingy thing now. Um, we do want to bring the extra water as well. Just want to make sure we have plenty of resources down there. All right. Down we go. Let's see how fast we can get back there. I bet it's going to be pretty fast. Yum. Wait, am I even going the right way? There's so many. I'm not even going the right way. Wait a minute. <laughs> I take it back. Is that the right way? I don't even know. Wait. Maybe this is... No, no, no. This is the right way. This is the right way! <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was pretty nice. Oh wait, I'm probably supposed to go down here. Yeah, this is where I'm supposed to go. But I haven't seen that big beasty thing going around over here anymore. I love the prawn suit. Prawn suit is just epic. That seems ridiculously epic. Found it! Found it! I 
Everything's fine. My, the names of these beacons is all so bad because I was freaking out while I was writing them. <laughs> so they're all just like super bad. Oh, music, let's go. Tree. I wanna know if I can get those eggs. <laughs> Well, is it bad that I want to like try to get one of these eggs and grow it? I can't like go in that. Okay, I was thinking if I could like go in one of those. Probably should try. I put it in storage. If not, well, rip I guess. Hi, Warper friends. Hi, Warper friends. Why am I not going down? Is the game janking right now? What was I walking on? Hello? skills. Whoa. Okay. Wait, did I not have a... Oh, I just didn't have a beacon to put over here. I literally didn't even have a beacon to put over here. Okay. Like, where am I? But it's just the place I already was. I just literally didn't have a beacon. Whoa, that was a good swing. Okay, I gotta remember how to do the swings like that. Oh, like that though. All right, let's put a beacon right here. Yeah, there we go. This is where we were. All right, we're back. Let's go. This is as far as I've been right here. Um, let's drop a beacon. Edit beacon name. Uh, deep lava opening after tree. How do I label these? Deep lava. I don't know how to label these. All right, let's go. Let's go! Nyom. Those are those lizards. So we'll get one more thing. Why not? And then I might take off my drill. I will drill you. Go away, nerd. Don't make me drill you! I will drill you! Ah! I guess it doesn't like that I'm drilling the Kainan.
Alright, well that's probably all the kind I'm gonna need. <laughs> Jesus, fuck that sound. That's a horrible sound. Okay, um, let's go this way. I like hugging walls in general so I don't get lost. So let's, uh, go this way. Is it possible for a big creature to just come out and swallow you whole? I don't know what's possible in this game. I've run into a few really big creatures that clearly could have just destroyed me, but I've always run from them fast enough that I've been okay. I don't want any more kyanite though, honestly. I think I have enough. Uh, do I need more? I mean, I am here though. Let me just, I mean, let's fill my whole storage up at least. I don't know how much more storage I got. Oh yeah, let's try the recharge module. Kind of interested in that. Aluminum silicon. Gosh, my storage is just all kind of. test something. So we have 92% oops, we have 92% storage. Um, if I were to go into the storage and snag the thermal module. Damn, look at that. And then I were to access the prawn suit upgrades. And let's say we change out the engine efficiency module um, for the thermal reactor. Now, will it recharge just sitting right here? 50C. Or maybe I have to go down to one of those lava pools? Oh, 94. No, it's literally just recharges here. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. So in this area, I may as well just leave that one on because I'm just going to be at 100% the whole time. That's pretty sweet. That is very nice. Um. So by the way, I think we're going to just jump down here? I guess let's keep following around here. Whoa. What's that? What's this thing? What the fuck is happening? Captain. What's this? I just wanted to look at what this is. Oh, it's quartz. That's pretty cool. Huh. That's the opening back there. There's really, there's like a huge ridge here. I don't know if I'm gaining anything by, oh, what's that? That looks like something over there. Maybe we should go over there. It's getting a little hard to see. It's hard to remember that I'm like underwater. <laughs> Look, I think something cool about these environments is they make you think you're not even underwater anymore, which just, it just adds like some cool variety. Is that a tree? Wait, what is that? What's this? Whoa. Well, that's some shit right there. Probably shouldn't touch that. I don't like the sounds that I'm hearing, so I'm going over here. Anytime I hear a new sound, I just fucking run. <laughs> what was that sound? Hmm. 
not loving these sounds. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and repair up. Sounds like it's coming from this way, so I probably shouldn't go this way, but here I am. It was nice knowing you, chat. No, 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 Whoa! <laughs> Let's go to the right side next time, because left side is absolute hell. Whoa. Let's go this way this time. How does that sound? What's happening right there? What's happening right there? So I think I know what happened to the research facility. Keck. Oh! <laughs> this fucking game, dude. I'm like, oh, that sounds bad. Suddenly I'm in its mouth. I don't know if I drill. I tried to drill it. I don't know if drilling it is what let me out. I nearly, though, if it hadn't let me out, I was gonna fucking get out of the prawn suit and just let it eat the prawn suit and run. <laughs> that was my plan. Because I, I was gonna get out of the pr prawn suit, drop a creature decoy, and just fucking book it. Oh, man. Whoa, does this wrap around? Oh, that wraps around. This is like a totally different way over here. You can go this way instead. This place is huge. Better not be a second one of those. Wait, is this? Is this backwards? I think that's backwards. I'm confused. Yeah, this is backwards. How did I loop around? That's that. I wanna go this way. I wanna go this way. That's where I came from. So I wanna go this way. This opening is huge. So that's death over there. Let's go this way. Where's this research facility or whatever? Not research facility. I don't remember what it's called for this one. I'm just... <sighs> Let's stay up on this like middle tier maybe here. This looks good. This looks better. You fucking pick a path. Game is pick a path. I picked the freaking doom path over there. Okay. I'm 
might um, place a beacon here. Go fast. Probably don't need to place the beacon yet. I don't know. Because I could probably just go to that. Let's go this way. I'm basically gonna keep hugging the railing of this until I have a reason not to. God, that goes so much deeper. Where's my... Okay, jeez. Where's my freaking... Next area. Ugh. Oh wow, I can go to 1700 though. It's pretty wild. I don't want to go into that. That's too deep for what I'm looking for. That's too deep for what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for something at 1200. That's like the 1400 area down there. So do I keep going past it or do I go back this way? Except maybe around, let's let's look right here. All right, so that way it looks like it keeps going or I could go down there. But I'm looking for something at 1200 so that I can't go any deeper than this to find that. So I'm gonna keep looking around on this level first. I don't wanna go too much that way though, cause that was bad. <laughs> That was bad news, bears. Let me um, remove some of these beacons real fast. So the only beacons that I care about are the tree right now. Um, the waterfall at the bottom of the tree and then the opening. Yeah, both of which are back there. Okay, cool. Oh good, a skeleton to scan. <laughs> Reaper Leviathan skeleton. Reapers are ill-suited to high temperature environments. Suggesting this creature was forced down into an active lava zone by conditions outside its control. Trace muscle tissue remains in the bone. Indicating specimen died in recent months. Burns and other physical damage to skeletal structure. Likely became prey for something bigger. <laughs> Jeez. Mm. I don't know this area, but could there be a forced cave exploration? I don't know. It said that... It seemed to say that... Uh, it, it, it definitely said it was at 1200. So I'm gonna keep staying at 1200 and just see what we can find there. Not this shit again, where is it? good playing okay so I can't go either direction that's good <laughs> fuck <laughs> oh. that's where I came in Okay, so it's on the left and the right, unless there's just, is there just one of them and it went from the left to the right and I just had bad luck or are there two of them? Cause that looked like I went left and I got fucked and I went right and I got fucked. Ah, <laughs> oh, I need to figure out if there's two of them or not. Um, oh, how did I take all that damage? Did it bite me? I think it bit me. I don't know how I took all that damage. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, scary game. Where do I go? What do I do? Uh, 
I could keep hugging the wall to the right. That could work. I could also go straight. I haven't really tried going straight from here. I think I went right there last time, and then I hugged the wall that way last time. I haven't gone just straight. What if I just go straight? That's there. That's right there. But this is where the other one was, or it's the same one and it patrols straight through the center of the area. Let's see if I see it again. Maybe it's just one and it patrols straight through the center of this area. One right there. There's one right there right now. Is there also one right here? That's the question. I think the answer is yes. I think the answer is there's two of them, which is something. <laughs> which sure, sure is something. Which sure is a thing. Okay, following the border here is... Wait, did I get turned around? I got turned around, didn't I? I got turned around and I'm going backwards. I meant to go over that way. I'm getting, this This beacon needs to be moved like right here. I keep getting confused by it. Okay. God damn it. Dude, imagine if the prawn suit just like fell down a fucking hole right there. Way nerd. This is the other way I meant to try. Again. We're gonna just go further this way. This is the fur this is the best way I've been able to go without getting that thing on my butt. Let's just go this way. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go into that hole until I. Go away! This ridge looks like the game designed it for you to use. My god, it's huge though. This area is humongous. Okay, well, we're running out of ridge and we still haven't seen anything. Did I see something right there? I don't even know if I see, am I seeing things? What are those? Those are just mushrooms, right? Where is it?
This is still technically 1200 ish. Damn, this is huge. This is nuts how big this is. I'm not going backwards again, am I? I'm really hoping I just round the corner and it's like, boom, research station. Fuck, dude, that just jump scared the shit out of me. Ah, go away. Fuck off. Oh my god, dude. Eat a dick! Eat a drill! Right. Any of those fish to eat over here? <laughs> Uh, hold on while I just go catch some fish. <laughs> Don't mind me. coming from and I don't like that. Oh, I'm so lost. Okay, that's hell over there. This is like a big maze. Where am I even going anymore? Yeet. I think there's nothing here. This is just a wall, isn't it? And then the wall wraps around here. There's nothing in here. Oh, I probably have just walked past. What am I hearing? I don't even know. Go away, nerd. No, nope. go away, nerd. Warper chasing me. Okay. Sh Fuck off! Surely this. Fuck off! Surely this is another skeleton. Oh, I'm wrapping back around. Am I just on the opposite side of the cliff? I think I've just gone in a circle. Yeah, I think that's where I scanned before, and now I'm on the opposite side of the wall. Which I don't like, because I think that means I'm heading right at the beastie. Yeah, I think I'm heading right at the... I'm... That's back. Yeah, I'm on the opposite side, literally heading right at it. Oh, this is good, though. I like this. I like this. Yeah, this is the opposite side of all that stuff. This is new. This is new. I like this, we're out, maybe. Whoa, this is sick. Am I going backwards? I don't think so. I can't tell, but I don't think I'm going backwards. This looks new. Is it worth dropping another beacon of reference? Maybe it is. Let's drop one. Looks safe enough for now. New hell? 
<laughs> My beacon names are terrible. I'm never gonna learn. I'm never gonna know where they are. Oh, this might. Is this just a dead end? Come on, game. Don't be a dead end. Go all the way up there. But it said 1200. Scaling this wall just to get a new vantage point up here, but I don't think this is where I want to be going. I could go there, though. What's crazy about this is there appears to be a way out here. But that's where I came in the other way. The other way I came in was there, and the tree is there, which is really far from here. Is this just another entrance into this... Uh, I'll take a hint from chat on this. If anybody knows, is this just another entrance into the same area? Like, I could have gotten here a different way? Um, because if yes... Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to go out there. This leads back to the Lost River. Okay, cool. So there's actually another way to get down here. Huh, well that's cool. We found the other way back. That'll just save me time. Well, back in we go. All right, I think we're doing well on food. And, well, we got basically infinite food. Why can't I drop that? Oh, I can only drop it. Just get rid of that. Um, I can just catch stuff. We have three waters left. Uh, how are we doing on this? Still got an extra water here. We have four water, so we still have plenty of time to fuck around in here. Let me just like catch another fish or two real fast and then we'll keep going. Is that a fish? No, that's one of those buttheads. Is that a fish? somehow just sitting in the lava. Okay. Welcome to board, Captain. Stop it! All right, back we go. into lava hell that's backwards over there there's the thing there's the thingy thing thing this is kind of how I got owned last time into that warper. Oh, it's fine. It's fucking fine. Now this is back here. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> what am I missing? Is it down the deep? Maybe it's down the deep channel. Oh. And you actually, but it said 1200, man. It said 1200. How have I missed? I went in a whole circle of this area. If it were 1200, I feel like I would have found it. This is back to the beginning right here. We did a whole circle. I could go down the hole, but 
but... Um, I guess just to save me time, I would take a hint for, is there something to find here at 1200 that I haven't found? Every hole is a chance for glory. Yes. Oh my god, where is it? There's, see, New Hell is across the way. This is just lava death down there, right? This looks like lava death down there. I wish I could hear where it was coming from. I'm trying to decide where I haven't gone yet. Maybe straight this way, but I do feel like I have gone this way still, kind of. I'm gonna get warped with that thing on me, just wait. Oh, it's like right here, isn't it? Jesus. Now oh, where is it? What am I missing? It's not there. That's where I came in. We went there, we went there. The only other place is maybe this. No, this is back way this way too. I can, I mean, a hint is probably good because I'm kind of losing my mind going in circles right now. That's back. Okay, so now we're back here. Oh. in a circle yeah because I went because I looked everywhere <laughs> what happens when you uh, the only ideas that I have are to go in the deeper area but then it the log says not in that like the log suggests that that's wrong so that's why I'm not doing that um, let's look at it again you sure did explore the outer edges. Yeah, you think I would have been able to see something inside there. Because it's not like it was that far across. It, it feels like the room is like a giant, it's basically a giant circle. And yeah, I went around the outside of the circle, but I would assume it would be in the center, but I thought I also went straight down the center too. Like, I think I tried that too. What it, what it felt to me in my head is what I did is that I went around the circle on the outside, and then I went straight to the center to see if there's something there. The cave is bigger than you thought. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is there any hint or not really? Let's see. Um, codes and clues. I mean, it just says thermal power facility 1200 inside an extensive natural rock formation in area of intense volcanic activity. Does it help? Area of intense volcanic activity. Maybe it's the place where I saw even more lava? I don't know. YOLO! New help is that way. I'm trying to kind of go in the middle of all of these. Here's intense volcanic activity. Maybe in this. Doesn't get more intense than this. Am I getting chased by that thing? Okay. just not in the center because that opening's 300 away that other opening is 600 away so right between them I would think would be the center
Wall, wall, big lava tree thing. Walls. Um, I think my beacons are confusing me. That's, that's where I came in. Yeah, that's where I came in and I went 400 meters this way and found a wall. If I don't hug the border, but instead go through here. Oh, that's not. There's no way it's above me, right? Or like, there's no way it's like up here, right? but I need to regen. Regen my stuff. This is confusing. I'm in this like huge rock thing here, but... Yo, thank you, Nikto. Slightly confused. Still. Oh, can I go in the center? Wait. No, is that? I'm so confused. I don't s Hope there's just one. Nope, there's another one. There's one there and one there. Oh my god. Well, they look pretty cool. Okay, so this feels like the center of the room. It feels like it has this big spire in the center and then it's like a circle around that. I could check the bottom of it because I feel like I just went to the top and there was nothing there. I think the bottom of it was what I was circling around before, which is how I went into a circle, though. So that doesn't sound right. So again, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Keith, oh, I didn't read your clue flips. I actually didn't read your clue. Oh, do you mean, do you mean your clue or do you mean the clue? Um. You can build a scanner room down here. If you see anything resembling a landmark in the center. Um, so inside, um, yeah, it says inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of volcanic activity. So maybe there's a, um, okay, maybe there's a cave entrance in here. What I was thinking, fuck off. What I was thinking is, <laughs> I have my prawn suit on. What I was thinking is maybe, um, I go through the center of it. <sighs> okay. I was thinking maybe I go in the center, but it doesn't seem like that's it. Unless I've not found the center. So... <laughs> Where's the way in? Where's the way in? Looks like that's a center and I can maybe go in that. I don't know if I've gotten high enough yet. We're gonna try one more time. Just to rule out completely that it's up here. No, it's not. It's not up here. Unless it's in top of one of these. It's not. Unless it's on top of this!
All right. Fuck you. We can safely say it's not on top of these. So now we look for a way into them. But it's kind of big, so question mark smiley face. Maybe at the base. So that was at the top. Let's try looking at the base. You know what? Maybe I missed it. That makes me think. Maybe I missed it if it's at the base because I was high up and I actually needed to be lower. <laughs> this is hard to find. This is freaking hard to find. I would have given up so long ago. All right, I think we've very nearly gone in the full circle and not found shit. Oh, so what's next? Look, is this, I'll take a hint for, is this the rock formation in question <laughs> that the Kent refers to? Uh, yes, okay. I mean, there's only so many ways in, right? So it's clearly not on the base and it's not on the top. So halfway through, question mark, smiley face. Let's just fly around halfway through. How many more options are there? Eat my dick. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god! <laughs> I probably walked right past this a hundred times. What did it just hit it? Is it attacking it? Oh, is that coming? I'm assuming it can't fit in here. All right. Something I want to know is where this was in relation to my million random hell beacons oh it was right next to hell oh not that close waterfall bottom of tree deep lava opening okay which was the closest one hell. oh so i was across the way from it right there i was i was hugging the wall right there and it was across the way right here okay so i didn't actually get that close to it all right let's put a new beacon here I'll keep my prawn suit on in case i get Oh, too many beacons. Too many freaking beacons. The volcanic rock, which has formed in this area, can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3,000 Earth years ago. Um. Beacon name. Uh. Thermal facility entrance. Hopefully. Feels like what this is. Let's go. Whoa. 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 Uh, 
Uh oh. <laughs> Whoa. Also, uh, let me heal up. Uh, just top this off. Any fish down here? Any friendly fish down here? Yo, there is. Let's go. <laughs> uh, let's do the game. All right. Um, I think I saw another one. Where was that fish? There you are. Stop it! I can't get you there. Trolling. Also, we would be so dead right now. Oh. Did we drop a beacon? We did, yeah, we did. Oh. It's fine. Oh shit, there it is. Wow. Um, probably don't want to fall into that. Let's go! <laughs> Damn, this is cool. This game gets so much crazier than I ever imagined it would get. Like, we're so far to get down into here well if it's like the other one maybe it'll have a uh, a little entryway yeah there it is right there right is that a force field though can't tell if that's a force field so let's go up here is there a card reader maybe I guess I'm gonna check and see if that was actually a force field thingy. Maybe I can go through it. Why are there warpers still? Can I go in this? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> What's that sound? Why is there why is there crazy shit happen? Okay. Ion cube. Drill ion cube. Holy shit! I don't know if I have any slots, but hell, I guess we're drilling the ion. Oh my gosh! It's not underwater. I was so confused for a second. It's not underwater. Whoa. Drill ion. What's the worst thing that could happen? <laughs> Yo. I like how the prawn suit sits. Yeah, me too. I like how the thermal upgrade basically gives you unlimited power. to do with the ion cubes yet though but soon we will know whoopsies actually here the facility is still in surprisingly good condition given that they clearly got bodied sounds like there's a machine what's that sound This was just another entrance? What am I hearing? What am I doing? Let's go down. I don't like that sound either. Um, how much water do I have? I have three. I probably should just like eat fish for more water or whatever so I can really take my time here, but I'll wait a sec. We'll pop at least, we'll pop one more of those and then I'll, if I'm gonna be down here for a while, then maybe we'll, uh, 
goodness, I have a freaking... Oh, no, I didn't need it. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility. It has been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record feature unusually low overlap with those encountered so far. <clears throat> um, so it sounds like it's saying that there was... An, oh, it's literally the next line, an extinction event. Solar samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentration. Data supports a mass extinction event. So I'm assuming the ba that uh, bacterial species like took over the planet and took and uh, killed everything, and the stuff that stayed alive was the stuff that was. But how does the I don't know. Is it the bacteria or is it that like crazy sea dragon of doom? Hmm. Cool. Cube. I thought I just drilled like 200 of these and now it's like cube. How do I get through this force field? Oh. Yo, good thing we brought these tablets. How do I make more tablets? I don't necessarily love that, but I'm sure it's fine. Wait, what's that up there? Let's go up there first. Cause there's nothing immediately sparking up there. Oh, the prawn suit's losing energy in here, interestingly enough. Ion power data. Integrating new PDA data. It is uh, it has been possible to extract useful. Synthesizing useful ion power blueprints from alien data. Blueprints stored to data bank. Oh, iron cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge energy within. Using this knowledge, it's possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints, which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. Oh, so we have, where are they? Ion power cell and ion batteries that's what i do with the ion cube so i can make super crazy batteries i wonder if i can uh, recharge them hmm well i guess i'm going to what whoa <laughs> is that glitching out or is this just is this just part of the alien tech This device is of alien origin, although its design is relatively simple. Um, wait, purpose? Its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. Okay, oops. I'm sorry, thing. I thought it was gonna, I thought it was coming at me. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant in its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow to traverse the floors, walls, and ceilings at reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are a few moving parts, rendering this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear. A rechargeable iron-based power source ensures its continued operation. Assessment. Immobilize and return to Altera for mutual profit? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I'm leaving it for now. Go on in here though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Aww. Did you do? 
Data. I love that. Primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Ah, uh, so primary containment facility. Okay, a power router in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. The primary containment facility location has been updated. It's constructed within a natural chasm connected to this cave network to the south southeast. I mean, I'm assuming it's that area I found. Depth 1.4 kilometers. Self warping quarantine enforcement. Wait, power distribution. Self warping quarantine enforcement units. Is that the warpers? Quarantine enforcement units. Um. Arch Network Sanctuaries. So there's three sanctuaries. The Quarantine Enforcement Platform, I think, is the place that fired the thingy thing. Primary Containment Facility is where I'm going next, apparently. And Disease Research Facility was the one I already went to? Where even did I find that one? Oh my god, I don't even remember anymore. Oh yeah, that's right. I found it in the same area of caves that's right and it's offline because that one got that one got attacked or broken or whatever hmm there's no clear way to interrupt the power flow so they're all online and functioning still with the exception of that one that we went in last time sweet offer okay cool cool well i think that's all i can do here we have to go deeper let's always go deeper Ay ay ay. I mean, I'm tempted to just keep on going. Can I do anything with uh, Robo Friend right now that I accidentally attacked? You can scan stuff. Oh shit, I forgot to scan something. What can I scan? Can I scan that? Alien thermal. Plant. We can probably take Emoto right maybe possibly I don't know. um the system is directly converting local thermal energy into electric current most of this is being stored in the battery like devices so that's where the ion cubes are coming from the power plant appears functional appears to be fully automated and uninterruptible all right grapple the robot see the fact that it started crawling on me is what freaked me out but i guess it's just doing its thing <laughs> it's just curious yeah uh there's still more stuff in this particular facility uh, there's that crazy noise oh yeah wait i didn't go in here yet oh I don't think I have another tablet. I only have an orange tablet. How do I get another purple tablet? Do I know how to get the purple tablets or do I just have to find them? Where are the tablets? Where are the tablets? Oh, yeah, I don't know where I was. I haven't found one in forever, by the way. The one I did find was, like, in the middle of a random ocean cave or something like that. You scrolled past it. Oh, shit. Uh, tablets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here it is. Oh, I can just make them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I already had enough iron cubes to make them. No. Aw, nuts. I think we have to go back for it. I can't make a fabricator here, can I? <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> I would have to randomly have... No, I don't have the materials on me. Man. Man. Uh, check the room with the arch. Um, arch. Room with the arch. No, 
not this way. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, it felt like there should have been something here. Oh! I See, this stuff doesn't activate in the prawn. Which is, uh... Huh? Confuzzling to me. To my brain hole. Oh. Okay, now please tell... Please teleport me! Please! Teleport me to the other place! Please! Oh my god, that would be amazing. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm going in! Yo, let's go. Dev 91 meters. This is totally the other place. That is heckin awesome. This is the other facility. So now, oh, that's so nice because it was absolute hell to get back there. <laughs> this is so nice. I could just park the freaking Cyclops right here. Oh my God. Yeah, I remember this area. This were, these were all the steps here. Oh, that is so cool. Oh. Turns out the jetpack sucks when I'm not underwater. I forgot about that. Yeah, the Cyclops is going to be a little bit annoying to get to, but... Um, I guess I could go get it with the Seamoth if I really needed to. Oh, you can run with the prawn suit? Wait, can you only strafe? Wait, that's interesting. Okay, so this is my full movement holding forward. If I strafe... No, that's not faster. Oh, wow. The strafe running is really... <laughs> the strafe running is actually... A and I'm softlocked. Chat, I'm literally softlocked. What is happening? It should just, why didn't it come with me? Found the jank. Can you use the repulsor gun? Let's try it. Look at its feet. <laughs> Come on, game. Not like this. Its head is stuck. I just literally walked under this bar and it just stuck. What else can I do? Aim for the head with the cannon. You'd think when it if, it if only it would stay duck. This is some shit. That's what I get for strafe running. Just take the upgrades and make a new one. 
But I pushed it. I pushed it! When it was sitting down, it sat down on me and pushed. Let's go. Oh my god. Now I'm taking this with me. <laughs> Uh, immediately get stuck at another wall, probably. God. Okay, land, land prawn suit is mega jank. This is what we've learned from this. How do I get out of here? I don't even remember what this thing is. Oh yeah, this is the thing that's like, you can, you can turn it off if, uh, but I am infected still. Um, where's the way out? I have no recollection of where the way out is. Oh god, no 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 <laughs> no Alright, um Is the way out down or up? Let's see. Is this where I came in? Oh here we go. Wait, I think this is an exit? Or I can't remember. I have zero memory. I think this is like an entryway. Under, underwater. Yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go home. <laughs> First step, let's just go back to our life pod and then we'll go get the Cyclops. I'm pretty sure I have a beacon here labeled facility. I need to seriously rename these some of these beacons. I wish I could remotely rename the beacons. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay. Where is home? Over this way. No. Go away, nerd. Neom. Go away! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that hurt me so much. Get me the... Fuck out of here, dude. Can we stop for a second, please? The, oh, it is actually kind of close. Well, I only have no more med kits, so hold on. I need to fucking get out of here real fast. <laughs> I'm just gonna regen my thing real fast. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. It's pretty far away. Ugh. I think I heard a roar in the distance, yeah. Get me out of here, come grab all these. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, I can't grab all those. Yo. Get me out of here. 
get me out. Oh, that was an amazing fling. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there we go. That's the Spider-Man action I want. Hell yeah. Yum. Maybe I can grapple the huge one? No. Oh, goodness. What a day. <laughs> this game just keeps getting crazier every time I think we're at max crazy. Whoa! Oh, that was sick. All right. Prawn suit. Best suit. Let's go ahead and put the energy efficiency module in it until we get back down there. Ah, my moon pool. It's been so long. What? Are we flooded again? What's happening? Oh, are we out of power or flooded again or some shit? What's happening? Oh, there's a sea moth in there. I forgot I put the sea moth in there. Oh, we're glitching out a little bit. We're glitching out just a little bit. Okay. Forgot Yoshi was here. Hi, Yoshi. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I missed the sea moth. I feel like there's no point. Oops. All systems online. Smashy, smashy. I feel like there's no real use for the sea moth anymore, which is sad. I like the sea moth. Though the prawn suit's epic, and the cyclops is epic. I like them all. Um. All right. Oh, actually, you know what? The first thing I'm gonna do real fast is start getting more. Well, I think on the, actually, no, I don't. Uh, I'm gonna grab more med kits. Uh, that thing hurt me so much. It's actually ridiculous how much damage that stalker did. Like, I think it double hit me or something because I have the full reinforced dive suit on and it took me down to like 30% health immediately. Those things are crazy. Um, let's have let's get our food and water back up. What the? Oh, oh inventory's full. I don't know what the you warped up two hits in. Yeah, I don't know what the prediction was. tablet diamonds Just make two of them More use of gold, I like that. I guess we can replace all of our batteries with ion batteries. That's interesting. Um, how do I make this? Because I have the resources to do it. How do I make it? Ancient purple alien tablet with purple alien. I've got the recipe. Oh, it counts as equipment. make two purple and two orange. I just need two nickel for that. I feel like two purple and two orange should be enough for me to do things right now. And then um, I 
guess we can make a couple of these uh, ion batteries. I especially want the iron ion battery cells, but I mean, I guess it's not super useful. I'm not really running out of battery. Hmm. But it's also nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hmm. I want to build another level on top of this. Um, what's the best way to do that? Did I clean everything out of this yet? Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's see about making these ion cube batteries real quick. Um, in order to do that, in order to make the power cell, I need to make batteries. So let's start by making the ion batteries. I need just a bunch of gold, silver, and ion cubes. Um, silver. Gold, silver, maybe one more gold. Yeah. Ion batteries. I wish we could see all the people who said you're playing first time on hardcore and show them your progress here. The everybody, I don't know. It's hard to know what. It's hard to know how what somebody says is going to actually translate because people said that this game would be terrible to do on hardcore and they also said that Terraria would be terrible to do on hardcore. This game was perfect to do on hardcore. I think it was definitely the right decision. Of course, I wouldn't have known that ahead of time though. Okay, then we can make iron power cell. Man, we need to make a million of these batteries though, just lots of gold and silver. Okay, I'm not sure I have enough actually, but we'll make what we can. Uh, it would have been terrible if you made just a couple mistakes early on. Finally, a use for all this gold. It's very, very easy to die if you're not being cautious and risk at first. Yeah. Lean forward to Terraria. <laughs> Silicone rubber. It feels like I don't run out of regular batteries basically at all with the swim upgrade. Um, so it seems like, oh, do I need to get more silicone? I think I do. So it seems like just getting the power cells is the main thing right now. I could just swim to restore these, but since I'm here, why the heck not? Make some use out of this thing. Definitely don't need the Pathfinder tool anymore. Let's go ahead and just put the Pathfinder tool in here. All right. Ooh, ion batteries, cool. So wait, they have um, 500 charge. And a regular, oh my gosh, they have five times as much battery power. Holy butts. That's ridiculous. Whoa, and I wonder if I'm gonna be able to charge stuff up in here too. That's pretty cool if so. Hmm. Um, well, let's unload a bunch of this extra stuff. Uh, we'll come back for most of this. And how again? Oh, I need to go get some silicone, actually. Yeah, so let's just unload, like, everything that we don't need. We need to build more storage. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab some more titanium and some silicone and build an extra level, I think. I don't know how it's going to work exactly. I guess we, like, put a ladder or something. All right, I need to really make sure that I don't forget to grab all this stuff later. Let's see. Let's do, um, let's find a uh, metal salvage. I think that'll be good. A Cyclops on ion power, yes. That sounds so good. Let's get the silicone rubber first. It's right here. I've already forgotten which thing it is. If it's the seeds or if it's the Silicone rubber, it's the seed. Okay, is that a 
full inventory of these thingies? Yeah. <laughs> Try on hardcore is impossible. A fully powered stasis rifle shot uses 1% with the ion batteries. That's wild. I mean, it depends a bit on how much replaying the game actually sucks. Like, I'd say in Subnautica, if I died once or twice, I don't mind replaying at all. It's really fun. Like, the gameplay is really fun to me. Um, but, like, if it's Subnautica, I died 20 times, let's say, to beat a hardcore run, that would not be worth it. Like, there's no point doing hardcore at that point. It would, it would take too long. In Minecraft, the restarts are so fast that even dying 100 times doesn't matter because the restarts are so fast. So, like, it just, it ended up just being fun anyway. Trier runs are always different. See, I do like that about it. Um, oh, I need to grab those batteries again. I think. Falcon, thank you so much for the sub. Greatly appreciated. If you died right after leveling up, Villager. Pizza, thank you for the eight months. A link from this world, thank you for the 36. Mega, thank you for the bits as well. Can you really check your aquarium? Oh. Sorry, I didn't check the aquarium, Mega. Um, we actually, I did. I have been checking it pretty consistently. I'll go back and look at it again now. Um, all right. I want the ion power cells because I want to put these in the vehicles. If I have more gold and silver, though, we should just keep making more of these. I think I do. I think I have more silver at least. Am I actually gonna run out of gold? Nope. <laughs> Nope, not running out of gold. Any more silver? I felt like I had like a whole chest of silver. Yeah. Um, let's see, ion batteries. Oh, I'm missing the ion cubes. Doo -doo. Ion cube, ion cube. I don't understand how you get more ion cubes. Um, I mined them from that facility, so I'm assuming that there's just going to be um, more facilities with more of them to mine, or something like that. Let's see, I want, I mean, if I fully load the Cyclops, we're not gonna do that right now. It would take a lot of these. Um, but I suppose I should just Put one of these in like these guys because these guys use the most i never use the sea glide power at all anymore um so let's go ahead and like in the stasis rifle let's put in an ion battery and then in this thing let's put in an ion battery uh i don't use the flashlight that often these days um have you ever played spelunky 2 no i haven't um I have considered it because I do love roguelikes. I have to say though, the art style in Spelunky, I didn't like. That's the main drawback for me. But that, I realized though that I was watching my friend play it and he was using some like maybe custom character or something that didn't have a good running. It, it, it had a different running animation or something. So maybe I was influenced by that and I didn't realize it. By the way, can I just get rid of all my old batteries? <laughs> Do I even need regular batteries anymore? I feel like I can save some space by just tossing all the old batteries. Uh, it was not Poo's, it was Tanuki Dan's character. Ion power cell. Okay, so I wanna put these in. I don't even remember, can you change the batteries in these? Gosh, I don't even remember. Do I have to go in the pond maybe? Oh, does it not have a power cell? Wait, how does its power work? I don't remember how its power works. Uh, maybe it's from the outside. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there we go. All right, well, that's never running out of battery again. That's awesome. And then um, I guess I'll put the other one in the Cyclops. R.I.P. Seamoth. Until I find a use of the Seamoth again. Though I do love the Seamoth. And then this other battery. Well. 
I use the repair tool a lot. I mean, the seagull hide, nah, it just auto charges. There's no point, I think. Let's put it in the repair tool. I repair stuff a lot. Okay. Um, now we are in desperate need of upgrading our storage. So let's go snag some of these uh, metal salvages because we're low on titanium. I'm so very low on titanium. Oh my gosh, there's a lot right there. Let's go to these. Look at how many are over here. Baldur's Gate 3? I played Baldur's Gate, I think, 2 with my brother um, when I was a kid, and it was awesome. So maybe I would like it. Prawn has two batteries. Wait, does it really? I, have a brother. I do. My brother's awesome. Prawn has two cells. Okay. Well, in that case, let's put it in there. Though I do want to get some for the... Uh, have a twin, Laurel, yes. Um, where am I going? He's the one that's on YouTube. <laughs> Let's check the babies. Welcome aboard, Captain. Bibbiz. I'm just expecting one time I'm gonna come back and they're all gonna be full size. <laughs> just pressed up against the glass. Put a portal. Yeah. Hey, Caleb, welcome. Be careful being underwater too long, your fingers will get wrinkly. <laughs> As a kid, I always loved how wrinkly you would get in the water. Little tentacle dudes spawn out. Aw, I do kind of want to release them. I'm assuming that they're still babies. They've only been, they've only been hatched for like a week. There we go. Let's go ahead and make dings and stop. What do I need to make another room? Multi-purpose room. Can I just stack a room on a room? I assume I'm gonna have to take those solar panels off if I just stack a room on the room. Um. All right, let's put some of the titanium away. Sawweaver, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, everything's full. This is why I need the new room. Da, 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 da. Maybe room in here? Nope. Anyone know causing to play Minecraft? I, I stopped streaming Minecraft. People didn't seem as interested in the multiplayer stuff. Cause I'm just, I just play multiplayer with my friends. So, um, no more streaming Minecraft unless I do something different. But there will be room in your room. Um, am I gonna... Oh man, I'm gonna fill this. Uh, what's the best way to do this? <laughs> I wish I could put another one right here, but I feel like it's not gonna fit. Yeah, it's not quite gonna fit. Oh yeah, we can put the solar somewhere else. Yeah, good idea. That is a certified good idea. You still, still plan on completing a hardcore playthrough? Oh, um, if you're talking about on the YouTube playthrough, don't worry, I finished that. Yeah, I finished the hardcore playthrough. Uh, oops, I need to deconstruct more. Um, YouTube will have everything on it, and it will be, yeah, yeah, no, no, don't get confused. The YouTube playthrough will be fully finished. I just finished that, and then was doing some multiplayer. Only had a submarine with plenty of storage. I need to go get it still. Um, 
Modded Minecraft doesn't have the nostalgia factor. Yeah, well, also, um, like, multiplayer stuff is very different when you're just playing with a group of friends versus playing with other streamers. People don't know, you know, a random group of friends, and we're not trying to make content or whatever It'd be entertaining. We're just having fun playing the game. So, it just doesn't work the same. Sad reality of streaming. Not everything is streamable. Um, okay. Now I can maybe put another one of these on top. Yeah. Wow, that's weird. I don't know what this is going to do, but I'm excited to find out. How's the biology these days? I'm searching for a new lab, but I am also finishing one final set of projects. Um, I guess it's bittersweet because I've been working on my thing. Maybe the ladder? Um, wait. Hatch? How would I go into it? Vertical connector. I think I would have already had to make that. Connects two floors. <laughs> um, oh, I don't have the materials for it? Or wait, uh, let's see. No, I do, two titanium. What am I doing wrong here? Where do I put the ladder? <laughs> do I need more room? Oh! I see. Is that the only option? Oh, no, I can do any of these options. Oh, oh. Okay, can't do right there or right there. Um, center of the room, why not? Well, that's pretty cool. So now we can uh, go up. That just teleported me. <laughs> They're like, you know what? We're just going to avoid the jank by teleporting you. Cool. All right, with some quartz, we can now add more storage at last. Um, yeah, lab stuff. Um, I, I really love the lab stuff that I'm doing. And it's sort of a problem with, um, or I guess like a difficulty with how um, modern academic research is like if I want to do my research or keep doing my own research or whatever my options are I need to become a professor or I need to find a professor to work with and um, in the past I've just had a professor to work with uh, there's a variety of reasons but I don't really want to be a professor well okay, I do want to be a professor for 80% of the things that in, are involved but I don't for the other 20% and I really really don't for those 20% <laughs> um, like the whole academic life like I, I would have to quit streaming um, I don't know I don't love writing grants there's a lot of things I don't love about it um, I love teaching I love working with students and I love coming up with science ideas but most professors work like 12 hours a day and it's very, very, very stressful. I'm gonna move these things up there because they're like less likely to be used right now. I'm saving the up, I'm saving the um, upstairs storage right now for things that I use less frequently. Um, let's see, anything else? Why is there a random fish in there? <laughs> I think a lot of this will probably go on the. Uh, I've got like a fire extinguisher and a flare. What are you gonna do with the poop? I don't, I'm assuming it's gonna be useful for growing something at some point or something like that. All right, cool. That frees up a lot of room. Yeah, we have storage again. But yeah, um, I also have issues with like, so I had um, a variety of uh, mental health and physical health problems um, over the past few years. And so I just felt like I wasn't, I couldn't be a professor. Like I just literally couldn't do it or it would like not be healthy for me to try to do it. Um, so that's the other reason why I didn't. And thankfully, I would say like 90% of those problems have been solved. Um, you know, like I learned I had ADHD or whatever. I had an anxiety disorder that was actually PTSD. You know, yay, mental health stuff. Um, figured out all that stuff, and it's like a million times better now, so that's good. But I- what in the- he literally carries it around. 
Alright, you can have it. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. So those were like kind of barriers that I would definitely wouldn't have been able to address those while also trying to like have a career as a science professor. So it just felt like the right thing to do was to take the time to address those things instead. Which was good. Um, I also had, um, when I was a kid, uh, my brother uh, pulled me up by my arm. Well, my brother and his friend pulled me up by my arms um, into my dad's truck at the time. And uh, like both of my arms went completely numb. And it like, it took a long time for them to recover. And it seems like ever since then, I had a nerve problem where I would get pain in my arms. And uh, like I had it for years and years and years. I used to I used to not be able to stream. Like I could never do what I'm doing right now two years ago. Um, like streaming Subnautica for eight hours would have just never been possible. Um, and it, I literally went to like eight different physical therapists. Nobody could figure it out. It was very frustrating for a long time. Um, I had like a million theories over the years or whatever, um, but I ended up figuring it out. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's really it's like I don't want to say anything bad about other people or whatever, but it's it's like it's like the the human body is very complex, and I understand that. But literally nobody was able to figure it out. I fucking figured it out myself, and at the same time, it's like nobody knows your body like you do, I guess. But I don't know. So like, I have some frustrations with, <laughs> have some frustrations with um, medicine and stuff, I guess, to some extent. Um, but yeah. Oh hey, big red boy. By holding shift, you click on things to make on the fabricator. Oh really? You can do multiple. Yeah, I mean, right? The medicine stuff works for you know 85, 95 percent of people, but then there's a few people that the standard thing doesn't work for, and well, get fucked, I guess. Okay, I wanted to get all this titanium to just have a locker full of titanium up here if I ever need it. Now we have this. Too much salt, too. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, long story short, eventually just figured those things out, but I still have a uh, circadian rhythm disorder that I've talked about on stream many times. And until I figure that one out, there's no point in having a regular job because it just would never work. It would be absolute hell to try to do. What does the PTSD stem from? Actually, uh, I don't mind talking about one of them because one of them is, is very impersonal. Like, it's nothing to do with people. And so it's like, it's actually very easy to talk about. Uh, like, uh, so one of them, so right now in the lab, I am trying to um, work on a vaccine for a virus called norovirus. Um, and just in case anybody isn't familiar, we don't normally, in, like people don't normally refer to it by that name. It's normally called, st in, in America, it's often called stomach flu, or else like it's often referred to as viral gastroenteritis, or uh, it's one of those common causes of food poisoning, blah, 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 blah. Basically people, it's, these days, um, it's, um, people tend to get it around five times in their life is what the stats show. Um, and you had it a few months ago. Yeah, so basically the way I describe it is when stuff is coming out both ends That's very off that yeah, that's very often norovirus So the reason that I'm working on a vaccine for that is I had I don't even know if it was norovirus All right, I had the symptoms of that when I was a kid and it was probably norovirus statistically, but I don't actually know um, But yeah, there's no vaccine for it. It sucks, whatever, but it doesn't kill most people. And there's a couple of other reasons why there's no vaccine for it, but mainly it doesn't kill people in developed countries anyway. Um, hold on, let me think about what I'm going to actually do next. Or something. Oh yeah, let's go get the, uh, let's go get the Cyclops. But long story short, I had Norvice really bad in school. Like, you know, basically what happened was I threw up really badly like in the cafeteria when I was a kid and it made me afraid of it made it caused like severe like a panic fear response that that was going to happen again every time that I went back into the cafeteria for literally like four years so basically I was like traumatized to do that for like four years just because of a bad infection so again it got nothing to do with people necessarily so that's why I don't really mind talking about it um but it just sort of caused like I've it, it caused like um they call it health anxiety. 
like, I guess just fear of shit like that happening. Um, yeah. For like, it's just for the problem. I think the real problem was that I had it for so long with nobody finding out. Yeah. So anyway, it's caused a bunch of problems. Being afraid all the time when you're developing isn't great. But all that stuff is good now. Um, I need to go get my. I need to go get my Cyclops. It's very far away. Yeah. All good now, though. Huh? Life, Welcome life do be Captain. like that. It's such a dumb, stupid thing. But anyway, that's why I've been working on a vaccine for Norvirus. To get back at it. <laughs> Saw a skunk? Oh, no. Um, so, yeah, thank you for 20 months. Damn, the mind is complicated. He's to be afraid without even knowing why. Yeah, I, I was just a little kid, so I had no idea. Carl is a re revenge anime against norovirus. <laughs> Remember to swap second battery. Thank you. So yeah, that's why I didn't become a professor yet. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. But yeah, and that probably caused a bunch of my other issues, I would assume. <laughs> There's a group called Nautilus Live that streams their ROV research. What's ROV? They're underwater live right now. Well, that's cool. That is cool. I like watching the spacewalk stuff too. Um, do I need to make another battery or do I have it already? I can't remember. I do have it. Sweet. Oh, remote operated vehicle. Oh, I see. I see. Wait, do I see? No, I don't. There's another one on the other side. I now see. <laughs> there we go. Double dragon. I have no idea what that is. Too lazy. <laughs> Why does your knife bubble out of water? Wait, it does. Oh shit, it does. <laughs> um, <laughs> this game is really interesting because it's like so polished in some ways and so not polished in some really obvious ways like that. Like that's just a little small thing. Okay, I feel like I don't need power cells and batteries anymore unless I'm still not understanding something. So I am going to just take all my power cells, all my batteries, and just stick them upstairs in the probably never to be seen again storage. Heck yeah. Why do I have a stalker too, Tommy? <laughs> Must have accidentally picked it up. Okay. Um, Pathfinder tool is also going in the never to be seen again storage. The poop locker. <laughs> you lost your, pl your prawn by clipping through the floor and dying. Oh, that's horrible. I would have spammed the unstuck button as fast as I could and just prayed, I guess. Um, okay. Um, that's still making water. I probably want to grab some stuff. Well, I'm going to bring it back here, though. I'm just going to go get it and bring it back here. So we're probably good. Question mark, smiley face. Gary. I... Label the wall lockers, but not the file cabinets. Oh. Interesting challenge mode is to beat hardcore without vehicles, except the Cyclops. Um, I don't understand how you. Oh, actually, wait. I could just go down there, couldn't I? Huh. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's you're almost like. 
There are some things that are easier without vehicles in a weird way. Nom 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 nom. Um, well, let's see. I say we take our good old friend, the sea moth, because we don't get to ever use the sea moth anymore. And we go get the cyclops using the sea moth. I miss, I miss the sea moth. Welcome aboard, Captain. And then we can just park it and then bring it back here. Whoops, probably should turn the lights on. <laughs> just smashed into something. Uh, we could also build a second base somewhere. Yeah, I want to like explore the um because it, it's I, one of the first things that you can build is the like air pipes or something it's like pipe air down from the surface or something i don't know i bet people can come up with some really creative solutions to do some really weird things in this game um damn it it doesn't matter anymore because the professor that i work for is retiring so i need to find a new job before i could do anything else with that but um, well, thankfully the um my the, my professor's not retiring for basically until the end of the year, um, so I still get to finish my norvirus project. Um, but of course, to take it to another step, then I would need a company or a new lab to do something with it. But we've looked into a bunch of different government funding like that. Uh, there's another interesting reason why there's no vaccine for norovirus, by the way. Um, in order to study viruses and make any sorts of uh, antivirals or vaccines, you have to be able to grow that virus in the lab. Like, you, you put some cells in a petri dish, and then you infect those cells with the virus in order to study it, you know, outside of a living thing. Um, because, you know, obviously you can't infect people with norovirus and then study them. Most of the time, actually, there are some... <laughs> you, can, you can sign up for that shit occasionally. If it's like a virus, like um, flu, that is, you know, quote-unquote, relatively safe, like in a hospital setting or something. But, of course, that's extremely expensive and difficult to do. Um, sign up for that shit, literally. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we found it. Um, but anyway, for the, um, for the longest time, nobody could figure out how to grow norovirus in uh, one of those cell cultures. And it was very recently discovered how to do it. And quite interesting. Um, it's weird. So norovirus infects your intestines, right? Um, do I have the marker here? Um, and so if you just take some intestinal cells and you put some norovirus on it, it actually won't infect them. Um, what people ended up having to do in order to... That's not the huge one, is it? I don't think so. Wait, I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Uh, what people ended up having to do in order to actually create a culture of norovirus was to make a sort of like... Um, it's called an organoid. I'm trying to think of a simple way to describe it. It's sort of like a 3D version of the cells in your intestine because cells have like, it's not just one type of cell. There's like dozens of them all kind of living together. It's actually like, it's really weird. I, I almost think of it as like, it's like a weird like colony or something of different types of cells that all interact with each other. And the way that they all interact with each other changes them. So like they need to be around their friends in order to, um, function properly and so when people tried to create these more complex models of like intestinal cells living in this 3d structure in these things called um enteroids then they were able to actually infect that with norovirus because the cells were actually more normal um, whereas if you just had some cells living without all their friends and without all these other things they like weren't really like intestinal cells anymore Yeah, right? So that's, um, the, by the way, the reason I wanted to mention that is because it relates a little bit to the bacteria in Subnautica. So in Subnautica, there's a bacterial species, it seems, that can infect basically everything. And that would never happen 
like, well, okay. There's a couple of problems with it, but I think they're all interesting. So another thing they're talking about is like, trying to study the organisms that are resistant to it um, in order to like use something about them, right? So they talked about that in one of the research logs in Subnautica, how like they were studying the different types of organisms to try to figure out if some of them were resistant to the, um, what was it called? The cara or something like that? The bacteria? And in reality, all that would be is like, oh, it can't attach to one of the like proteins on its on the cells of the organism that it's resistant to. There's no way you can copy that without becoming that other organism. Like that's not something you can design a treatment from, if that makes sense. So that's like a way where my science sensors go off when playing this Cara. Yeah, Cara, Cara Victorium. That was the worst time for ads. Ah, sorry, Twitch just plays them automatically. Dang, one happy chipmunk, sorry. You can always go back in the VOD. Um, uh, Koopa, thank you so much for the five months. It's greatly appreciated. I would just disable the ads if I could, but sadly I cannot. You can also install an ad blocker, yeah. Okay, um... The best I can do is try to play them in times when it's less annoying. But, yeah. Hey, if anybody missed it earlier, I literally um, drove the <laughs> Cyclops into my base, created a hole in my base, and flooded my base. So, <laughs> yeah, the three options are you can sub to a streamer, and then you don't get ads for them. You can get Twitch Turbo, and then you don't see ads for anybody. Um, but that getting Twitch Turbo still supports streamers, which is nice. Um, it's kind of like YouTube Premium in that regard. Or you can just download an blocker. Is that clipped? I'm not sure yet. The thing is, is I didn't realize it created a hole in my base until later. Didn't know you could wreck your base with it. I think that's what happened. I just came back and my base was flooded, so. Okay, Um. let's see. Let's power down the engine. Engine powering down. Oh, let's see if we can get a, another ion thingy thing. We'll put the Seamoth back in the All moon systems pool. Online. Oh, I missed the Seamoth. But I also love the proxy. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, ah! How do I get in you? <laughs> no! Oh, I'm gonna glitch the game out. Be careful. Interpawn, so it's like the top. There we go. Alright. Let's put the prawn suit in the Cyclops. Uh, no more soft locking the prawn suit, please. Oh, thanks, Kenzie. Sometimes I forget to look at that when we're doing longer games. Um, shoot, I missed a science question yesterday. Dang it. Uh, let's see. Karoka says, never gonna gill you up, never gonna let you drown. <laughs> never gonna swim around. All right. Um... Uh, Kuro, Frey, Sophia, Song, Weaver, Super, Tommy, and Welkin. Thank you all so much for the subs. I forget if I missed any of you, so I'm covering them all again. Wait, Prawn Suit. Wait, no. Seamoth. I saw a streamer that had permadeath when their Cyclone crushed them. Oh my goodness. Or Cyclops. Whoops. Yeah, I know, I missed the Seamoth, because it doesn't go past 900. Oh, uh, I should probably clear this out. Salt locker. All right, we're gonna want the tablets. Um, 
fire extinguisher and the flare. I'm going to put them on the ooh, gas pods. I'm going to put them on the Cyclops. What else do I want on the Cyclops? The prawn suit thing we definitely want. Don't forget about that. Um, I do want to get some silver and gold and ion cubes to make at least one uh, ion power cell for the Cyclops. I feel like if I can, um, if I if I have more power to it, then I'll probably feel more comfortable just messing around with it, which would probably be really fun. I want to get the <laughs> I want to get the sonar and the torpedoes and just kind of mess around with the Cyclops. That sounds really fun. Okay, cool. And let's see. I like having a lot of the large filtered waters for my long runs. So while I'm near the base, it makes more sense, I think, to uh, just fill up real quick on these fishies. Yeah, these guys. But I could just make a second water purifier. That's probably what I'll end up doing in that top area. You did also use an ion cube to power the portal. That is a good point. I should probably bring more ion cubes. Power more portals. Getting ran over by your own Cyclops is fun. They should just make it not damage you, I feel like. Just to prevent jank. You could plant a Bulbo tree. I was thinking about that if I made a... I was thinking about... Um, this morning, actually, before I started streaming, I was like, what if I could put one of those Bulbo trees on my Cyclops in a grow bed? And then I got distracted in the stream and I haven't done it yet. But that was part of my plan. I don't know if, um, if that'll work or not, but if it does work, that sounds great. Uh, how do I get a Bulbo tree? I guess I go to the island and find one. I'm sorry, Gary. Return to the earth. Uh, here. Oh wait, I'm forgetting things. I'm forgetting so many things. That's okay, we'll do this first. <laughs> um, okay, I wanna change this one out for an ion power cell. Oh my God, yeah, it's five times. It goes from 200 to 1,000. So basically that, just that one extra one doubled just about because there's five almost doubled the uh, from 1200 to 2000 that's massive upgrade damn all right how much water do i have um i'll still keep the extra power cells in here just in case we ever need them but otherwise, okay, wait, do I have extra water? If not, I'm probably gonna build another water purifier. Yeah, Um, probably a good idea to build a second water purifier. Just so I have lots of it when I, well, actually I can get to them faster now. So that's actually a big plus. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to make a connected network of all the portals, because that's pretty sweet if I can do that. Um, If I have extra silver and gold still, I might, Build one more ion thing. I definitely have extra gold. Do I have extra silver? I do. Nice. Let's build one more. Um. Oh, I need to make two. Oh wait, maybe I don't want to use all my ion cubes. Hold on. How many ion cubes do I have left? Uh oh. <laughs> wait a second. How many ion cubes do I have? We definitely don't want to use all of them. Okay. Never mind. We're not making any more. Let's save our three ion cubes. Let's put them in the um, in the Cyclops. Okay. Yeah, let's put them in the Cyclops. Check upstairs. Okay. I don't think I have any. Oh, that's empty. That's these two are not empty. It's just titanium and batteries and that. Okay. I would like to build another water purifier here. Let's see if I can do that because then I'll just never have a problem with having enough high quality water. Let's see. Um, 
interior pieces. I don't have a, oh no, I did make a bulkhead. Nuclear reactor, can't do that yet. Water filtration machine. The only issue I guess is the aerogel. Let's remember how to do that. Three titanium, oh. I always forget to just pin it. JK. <laughs> Can you pin from in that? What if I, wait, what if I right click it? Nope, all right, I don't know how to pin from in that. Um. Let's see, how do I make aerogel? Gel sack and a ruby, definitely got that. But where is the question? How long do I normally stream? Um, usually for another hour or so. Gel sack. Ruby. Um, three titanium and a copper wire, I think it was. Let me double check that. Yeah. I want to go explore, like, I want to do one more big exploration thing today. Uh, sure. Oh, uh, hi, Ancash. Oh, uh, you might just go back and listen to the last hour of the stream. <laughs> um, but I guess the long story short is life's pretty good. I'm finishing some uh, vaccine projects in the lab, and then I need to find a new lab position because the professor I'm working for is retiring. Um, okay. Cool. Oh, we're going to run out of power. Absolutely. We're going to run out of power. Ah, let's put a few more power things. I think it's two titanium and a silicon. Oh, solar panels, two quartz, two titanium and copper. I might not have any more quartz. Yeah, we might be limited by quartz. All right, we're gonna need to go get some more quartz. Let's do that real quick. Actually, let's put these on the Cyclops so I don't forget about them because I'm going to forget about them otherwise. Um, quartz. What be with you? You could try the bioreactor. Probably should try it at some point. But it's so easy to Welcome always build to one more solar panel. <laughs> it's like uh, I'm, I'm always lured in by that. Oh, that's not supposed to be in there. It's supposed to be in here. Now I feel like carrying three of these. I, I should even carry four of them. It feels like now. Oh. I should eat that. Nom nom nom. Um, prawn suit thermal reactor. I suppose I should put that on the prawn suit. Okay. Sweet. Oh, is it cheap to make? If it's cheap to make, that's pretty nice. Um, should be some quartz nearby. Did you know you could use the building one in your Cyclops? I did know that. Um, I didn't want to use a lot of power from it. So I'll, so I'll probably care a lot less once I get the ion power. I'm planning on making a grow bed in it though, maybe with some of those trees. Enjoy those trees. Whoa, I can't see anything. Uh, there we go. Oh, she's I should be careful about that. Um uh oh, that hurts. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, 
restore my health. That's weird. Why did it restore my health? Why did a new one just appear right there that wasn't there before? Man, it is dark in here. Yeah, those tentacles are uh, not my favorite thing in the world. Um, screw that cave. How much quartz did I get? Plenty! <laughs> when your food is greater than 90? That's how I did almost die, was some stuff like that. And the, um, what else almost got me like that? I mean, a warper almost got me like that, but it's not that stupid, I guess. That wasn't the way to go. How do I get in there? <laughs> like all I did was just go back to the same place. Uh, that's enough of that for me. Get me out of here. Why is lying? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. gotten lost and almost drowned. I got lost and almost drowned a couple of times too. I would be more careful if it weren't for the fact that I'm like, I have so much oxygen. I feel like I could just flail wildly for like three minutes before running out of oxygen. Or my hubris will get me. <laughs> uh, oh, we're going to make solar panels. Can I already make them? I need two titanium and copper. Copper. And a bunch of titanium. I swear next time I'm gonna organize these lockers. It will happen. Fun fact, you can swim across half the lost river and make it to the surface with that much oxygen. Ask me how I know. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, there goes the power. This is why we need the new solar panels. I don't have enough for this, right? Yeah, I don't have enough for this. Alright. Well, two more should hopefully make it through the nights from now on. You can put the panels on the ground. Really? It's interesting. Quartz. All right. Well, looking good now. Probably get like one more water thing before we head out. Um, we're just about ready to go though. We've got three ion cubes, a bit more tablets. We're gonna have to go to the, you know what? Let's make a grow bed because I'm gonna go to the island where I can get the stuff for the grow bed anyway. Where do I need to make it? It's just two titanium. Ah, no, I want an interior one. An, inter an indoor grow bed is four titanium. What's the difference between the plant pots and the grow beds? If I wanna just grow a palm tree indoors, <laughs> should I do Plant pots for small plants. Well, I don't think this thing is very small. Grow bed is four by four. Grow bed for trees. Gotcha. Well, I too, I do want to plant the tree anyway. Let's do the um. Let's just get a bunch of titanium then. Um, which I have to All go primary here for. systems online. Let's just build one. It'll probably be fine. I want to go jump in the moon pool. Wee. <gasps> A 
sure if you can fit a tree. That's what I was wondering too. Alright, where are we gonna grow a tree in here? Is there anything in this room? Oh, that's the prawn room. Probably don't want to grow something in there. Where am I gonna grow a tree randomly in here? Hmm. Uh perfect. <laughs> tree room. Oh shit. Uh that's not glitched at all. Nope, no glitches here. None to speak of. Tree room. This is now the tree room. Um, I guess I could plop one down right here too, but... Okay. We'll start with that and see how it plays out. <gasps> Do I have any more titanium? No. Okay. That's probably fine. I don't know how many trees I'm going to put in that if it's just one. But if it's two trees, then I'm probably happy. Your treasury. Yes. You can fit four. Oh my god. Four of them. That sounds pretty good. A lag. <laughs> well, um, let's top off our food and water. And then I think we're ready to go see what else we missed. We, for anybody joining, we have explored the thermal facility and found some, like, I think it's the sea dragon. I don't know. It took a bite out of our prawn suit. <laughs> and we lost, like, on, a, like, a third of our health. Thankfully, we did not die. Since I am playing on hardcore. And it took us forever, but... We finally found... I have a gift. Expert Cyclops piloting. <laughs> Thank you, Kenzie. <laughs> oh, but um, yeah, we discovered the use of ion cubes. Got some new sick batteries. And now we have a teleportation thing with Jigger. So that's pretty sweet. Spoilery, the more you chat. Oh, I appreciate it if it's a if it's about like quality of life stuff for things I already know, it's totally fine. But if you're telling me stuff about things I've never even discovered yet, that's when it's a problem. Um let's see. Like, by all means tell me how to grow things better. <laughs> because I'm already trying to grow things. Um Lance, hello. Welcome. Let's see. Uh, how close is this to water? We're going to wait for that one to finish because it's at 95%. Ah, eh, that one's going to be a while. We'll just grab one more water and be on our way, I think. Um, anything else I'm forgetting to do? Not really. Hopefully get some ion, more ion stuff. Soon. We got two of each tablet, three ion cubes. I think we got those. Oh yeah, I'm gonna grab another med kit thing and I'm actually probably gonna make another med kit synthesizer because I keep getting hit and losing like 70% of my health, which is not the best feeling in the world when you're playing on hardcore. Did you make the thermal upgrade? I did, thermal upgrade's awesome. Um, we're using it in the lava area, and it's basically a unli limited power. Thank you. Trying to plant seaweed? I haven't. All right, we're gonna take the cyclops to the island, get some trees to plant on the cyclops. And then take the teleporter back to the to the thermal facility. I think that's the play. Uh, as far as our storage situation goes, I'm gonna start carrying four first aid kits on me because three was literally not enough <laughs> when I got when I got stuck in warper hell. Um, however, I don't need. Um, okay, I do want these guys. Bring these with me. Well, I don't need them yet though. I'll get because I want to carry the trees, so I don't want to. I want to bring those yet. I'm gonna get rid of the flare. 
Don't need the flare. And I'll leave the fire extinguisher as well. Don't need that. I think I have some extra water somewhere. Do I have extra water somewhere? Ah, shoot. Where's my extra water? Is that really useful? Do I have water? No. Damn, do I not have any water? Did I miss it? Oh no. Moving into the sub nicely. Yes, demon. Did I miss the water? Shit, I did miss the water. <laughs> I'm blind. All right. Never mind. We're fine on water. Okay. Thank goodness. We do have it. All right. Um, okay, what am I missing? I think we got everything. All right, we want to make a, or we want to activate our beacon for the facility. We've already got it. All right, let's go. Honk the hard, we're ready to go. Yeah. Powering up. Cyclops powering up. Yeah. Rig for silent running. Let me your cap. Oh, no, run into our base again, please. Shit, we're hitting things. <laughs> Cyclops 2. Oh no. I assume Cyclops 1 is uh, the engine catching on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, thank you so much for the sub. It's greatly appreciated. <laughs> Fun fact, the horn was originally intended to have an interaction with the Reefax. Oh, that's cool. I was wondering um, if the horns specifically, like, will have an effect on the Leviathans, potentially. If anything, I was thinking... Pushing the horn just attracts all nearby leviathans to just swarm the ship. It's <laughs> uh, probably what I would do if I made this game, and that's why I shouldn't make games. Drains 1% battery every time you toot the horn. It's the signal that you were an ice cream sub. <laughs> I tried playing Tetris. <laughs> um. Okay, I think that island is what we're looking for. Let's probably not beach the Cyclops. Wow, 100% power still. That new ion power cell is doing work. Whoa. Man, the Cyclops is so cool. All right, here we are. The fuck did I just hit? <laughs> Driving this thing is hilarious. I need to go watch Barb's play through this and just see all the shit that he got into. I'm sure he got into some shenanigans. All right, uh, let's see. Engine. Powering down. Let's plant things. Any favorite base places? I feel like building a base in the, um, what do people call it? The Underground River? The Lost River? Get the official name for it. That sounds like such an epic place to build a base. Barb 1000% blew up his Cyclops. <laughs> I'm not surprised! Alright, we're planting trees. Lost River. Yeah. 
Now, how do I get seeds? I think I can just plant it from that. Ah, it's gone! I'm sorry, tree! How many did I get? Okay, I got four. Yeah. Wait, I just thought of something. I can eat this and this. And then I can get more! Nom, 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 nom. Alright. I need to finish the sequel. I mean, at this rate, I'm really interested to put the sequel. A lot of people seem to have mixed opinions about it. Um, and I don't... So, I don't know, though. If it's, like, remotely the same game, I'm gonna be happy. Sequel's good, just different. No wonder people hate it. They hate different. Alright, cool. Now we have trees growing in here. That's pretty sick. All right, um, let's um, get our stuff before we forget it. It's uh, it's good, but not as good. Let's see. Um, bring all the water. Got enough health. Um, we got food situations fine because I can get food down there. We need the ion cubes and the tablets. Bring a power cell just in case something horrible happens. My prawn suit. Um. All right. Otherwise, I think we're good. Red zone. Thank you so much for the 13 months. Yes, my baby trees. They're growing. Enter the prawn. Let's go get soft locked again in the prawn suit. I can't wait. Where was the underwater entrance to this? There was some underwater entrance to this somewhere. Hmm. Where was it? What? Maybe this is it. Did I hear a leviathan? Get me in. Get me in. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. All right, we already soft locked in here once, so um, let's uh, kindly not do that again. That being said, it doesn't work. It doesn't work in for not in the water. No water jetpack is bad. Yeah, I can jump a little bit with it, but otherwise, you, the place I soft logged was right there. I literally just walked in there and I couldn't freaking get out. And then I pushed the unstuck button, and oh boy, was that a mistake. Wait, am I supposed to go that way or this? I can't remember how to do this. Uh, let's look over here. That's not correct. Where is the right way to go? It's at the bottom. Dang it. It got you unstuck. It did not. Whoa. I guess it got me unstuck. It also didn't get me unstuck. Oh my gosh, the jetpack is so weird. I wish I could cancel it. Wait, this is where I came in here. Uh, is it straight across here maybe? Ah, here we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, this portal takes us back to the research facility. Um, I am going to, you were never stuck your sewers. I'm gonna use the restroom. And so I shall return momentarily. I shall be right back. Ads, okay, I'm gonna do the ads now so they don't play one back. We have a uh, exclamation sacrifice command. <laughs> oh God, I need to watch the freaking exclamation sacrifice. Yes, we do, all right. <laughs> yes. Excellent. <laughs> sacrifice. Sac All right. 
Um, still got 50 seconds. I'll wait just a second here. Yeah, um, guess what, chat? I jogged 2.4 miles this morning, which is the furthest I have ever jogged in my entire life. Up from 2.35 miles the last time. <laughs> And next time, I will try, in a couple days, I will try 2.45 miles. I've, I've just been increasing it by 0 0.05 miles each time. So that's pretty high. It's 100 degrees here, yeah. I like jogging, but I don't like being seen. Yeah, very fair. A lot of the time, I will just do it... Um, I will just do like a YouTube exercise video, you know, in the in the privacy of my bedroom. <laughs> Try kilometers next time. Yes, yeah, small improvements was the key. I kept hurting myself and then I just did a lot smaller improvements and that was the way to go. All right, let's do it. 100C. <laughs> Into the portal we go. I was wondering if maybe in that other facility there, there was a place to put an ion cube. I feel like I would have seen it the first time, though. Okay, uh, somewhere here, and I have absolutely forgotten where. Not that way. So this area is scary. Oh, here it is. Right. Insert tablet. <laughs> Ron. <laughs> uh, all right. What's that? Blue, come on, what? <laughs> Is this just another tablet? Now I have three tablets. Yo, we got a nice iPad though, yeah. Space mommy. Um, well, pretty sure, yeah, pretty sure we're stealing from ruins again. Um, okay, nothing else to do here, I don't think. So I think the next play is to go deeper. Deeper, let me remind myself what's down here. Oh yeah, a cute friend is down here. Wait, did that... Did that respawn? Feels like that might have respawned. I can hear it skittering. Aww. <laughs> I love those little rectangle eyes. Do you need a boost? Oh, no, nope, there we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay, right, this was where we got the little data thing. Where are the cubes come from? Oh, maybe uh, maybe my inventory was full and it doesn't respawn. Yeah, I'm actually my inventory there might have been full because I had drilled one of the bigger ones. Ugh. Okay, I think we're gonna go outside here which is always a fun time. And we're gonna turn on, um... <laughs> I love how, I love my naming of these, hell. Uh... Thermal facility entrance. I think that might be where I need to go. Oh yeah, scan the tablets. I always forget the heckin' scan, the heckin' tablets. I can't drop it here for some reason. I have to drop it in the water. Ugh. Oh, I already know about the prawn suit glitch. Believe you me, I am well versed in the glitchy ways of the prawn suit. How do I get out of here? There's a warper right there. I guess. Um, mm. 
blue tablet, smooth and cold with a blue light, uh, which illuminates, resembling an uppercase H. While it is likely these devices serve as part of a security clearance, their size suggests some additional purpose, such as personal computers. It is an iPad. Whatever the case, the technology is far beyond humanity's own. So let's see, we can write H, N, and U. H, N, U. Hun. <laughs> Un. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <-uh. laughs> Un. Uh, shit. Um, I don't know how to get up there anymore. Oh, let's just slam into things. Yeah. Do I go up? I can't remember. I have zero recollection of how I got in here. Literally zero. Was it up or down? Where did I come from? Where do I go? I'm getting stalker. I'm getting warped. I'm getting stalked by a warper. Warped by a stalker. Um, what if I go? I swear it was up. Maybe it wasn't though. Maybe it was. Maybe it was that lava thing. Don't think it was that lava thing. It's not the lava thing. But maybe it's over here somewhere. I'm about to get warped into lava, and I can't wait. Maybe it's further down. Maybe it was there. This looks good. Yeah, this is it. I remember. You little shit! I will drill you! I will drill you! Repair tool. <laughs> they are such trolls. Have you considered not? Have you considered not instead? You absolute shithead! Stop! It's pushing it off the edge! Did you see that shit? It was literally just pushing it off the edge! Get me out of here! Fuck off! Fuck off! Oh my gosh! Unbelievable! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Warper's part cat. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here is the way out. I don't need any more kyanite. My beacon. Oh yeah, that's right. Back to hell. So now we need to figure out... I mean, I think we just go deeper. You know what? There's one thing that I forgot in all of this. I forgot to bring more beacons! Mm, maybe I just take this one. Got to bring more beacons. But this might be a good way to get out, so I probably shouldn't bring this one. <laughs> ah! I hate this place. Welcome aboard, Captain. I feel like bringing this one isn't a good play because this is the best way to get back. You know what would be great? If you died permanently. Um. Yo, 
YOLO, I guess. Let's turn on all the beacons in this area in case there's one I can take that I don't need. Hell, deep lava opening, new hell, and then this one. I think are the ones that are down here. Yeah. Okay, is there another one that's close? That one's not. Stop it! Nerd! That one's not too far away. Uh, well, I think this is the way down though, so... No, this isn't the way down actually. Yeah, this isn't deep enough. Uh, the area, I had seen an area that was deeper. Uh-oh, I don't know where it was anymore. This is it, this is it. YOLO! YOLO! I think this might be it. Holy shit. This always felt like an arena. Yeah, it does. It definitely... I'm gonna get lost in here. We're dead, chat. We're dead. We are so dead. How am I gonna get back? I didn't put a beacon there. It's fine. We are dead. We are dead. Is that where I need to go, though? Maybe that's right. No! Warper's here. No, 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 Me, da 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 da. This is bad, da 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 da. So bad, da 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 da. What the heck are those? Whoa. What is that? I thought for a second that those were creatures walking around made out of ion goodness. Hello? Who are you? Are any warper things warpalating all over me? There's one over there. That looks like where I go, so that's good. Might be making mistakes. Oh, I'm burning, aren't I? I'm burning. Um, I think those are something this game does, which I really appreciate. Is it scannable? Is it scannable? I also really, really don't want to go into the lava. So I need to be a little bit careful. Oh good, are we gonna soft walk like this? This is how it ends again? All right, there we go. Let me make sure nobody is after me. Alien structure. These small alien structures are emitting high wavelength sound waves which seem to be designed to deter indigenous life forms from approaching the larger facility. I like it. I like it. Let's try to dodge that warper on the right. We're sinking, but we almost at land. <laughs> All right, we're in, I think. Sick. Anything else while we're here? I mean, I really wish I had a beacon, but such is life. Maybe I'll be able to TP out, actually. Oh, does it want the blue tablet? It does. 
I wonder if I'm going to need to make more blue tablets. Alright, time to soft walk spawn and again, I'm ready. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor Egg, fetching project terminated. Emperor Egg? Life specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Ooh, more little robo buddies. What is this? What is this? Ion cube fabricator. Oh, can I make one? Ion cube fabricator. This device appears to be the origin of the raw mineral. Drawing power for, oh, okay. I probably want to have my own power for that. This device may represent an almost limitless source of energy. Special equipment is required to collect. gonna make a new one Whoa. oh okay I can go there literally no idea which way I came in <laughs> all things considered I wish I had more water than this uh, fun question though dun, 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 dun. Are there fish swimming right here? <laughs> Are there little fish swimming right here? Is that, is that bad for me or not? I don't seem to actually be taking damage. Am I going to take damage? Oh god. Okay, maybe this is not the play. I think it's very slowly hurting me. So probably not the play. <laughs> I just wanted to catch that little fish right there. Hmm. I thought I was gonna be able to I thought I was gonna be able to catch the fish to eat so I didn't bring that much food. Uh which isn't a great thing. <laughs> um so, I guess we're just gonna try to go really fast and see if there's another teleporter here. Enzyme 42. PDA data. An indigenous leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the bacteria. The specimen was captured and contained. The alien researchers went to great length to provide for the life forms environmental needs, including uh, the import of interdependent flora and fauna being an on-site warp gate. On-site warp gate! However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme had been unsuccessful. Its health quickly deteriorated. Hmm. Alright, so that's the main central room. Let's see what's back here. Whoa. Preserved feet as well. That's a little bit weird. Sea Emperor. Um, that does look like the big one flying outside, maybe. Uh, found preserved in a display case. It was likely a child of the adult specimen contained the thing uh superficial damage to the specimen oh i had a water chad need water uh superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing expired during the removal process it appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in the specimen's digestive system without a young healthy specimen these efforts were in vain um let me grab my water real fast it'll just be two seconds ruby was hungry sorry 
<clears throat> the Ruby Hunger Bar. <laughs> um, okay. Scan that. We gotta kinda hurry. Kinda gotta hurry. Oh, there's like more specimens. Can't scan that, I don't think. Oh, I can scan it. What is this jank? There we go. I had to jump up there. Okay. Oh, let's see. Is there anything else to scan in here? I don't see it. So I think we're going to keep moving. We've got to move fast. Gonna run out of food. Probably going down into that area would be good. I really, really hope I can warp out of here. Holy shit, there's like 30 rooms. What was that? Um, there's like 30 rooms. I'm gonna put the tablet in here first and hope that this is a teleporter. I don't have another blue one! <gasps> Fuck, game! Do I need it? And that looks like the arch, maybe. Oh my god, that's some bullshit, dude. That is some bullshit. There's no way for me to go unless it draw unless there is one in here. Oh, you have no idea what's going on. Rex, you gotta play this game. It's basically you're gonna you're gonna feel the Outer Wilds vibes. I mean, I guess it's not. It doesn't have puzzles to solve in the same way, I guess. But like, uh, it's so cool. You gotta play it. Tracking implant. What is all this shit? Alien technology. Alien technology. All right, I need to look at two, 200 things that we just scanned. The Sea Emperor egg casing. The eggshell is formed from thick layers of carbon composite. Um, this Leviathan species may give birth just once per century. Precise incision just a laser tool is used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus prior to gestation. The time time pressure to allow a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open this egg and remove the, fe the fetus for study. It is also possible that removed from its parent and natural habitat, some vital conditions was not met. Nanobots. Um, there's some form of nanobot inside this empty case. It would be unwise to release them. Organic matter particulator. What? Um, do, 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 do. It would function as a weapon. It was likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabitation. Without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. Tracking implant. And high bandwidth signal, DNA in the exterior. It was once implanted inside one of the life forms, suggesting the subject was, oh, so it was like a tracking thing that they put in the Leviathan. Beyond tracking, it broadcasts its location. It may have recorded data. However, this data cannot be retrieved. Oh, uh, wait, was there another one? No, that was it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Did I scan this one? Nope. And you can play Tunic. I am intrigued by Tunic. Um, This rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts, and there's some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state. It's waiting an activation. This reminds me of the quantum blocks in Outer Wilds. Uh, materials such as this may have been a fundamental building block of the alien technology or even the aliens themselves. So this is like lore room. Chat, I think we need to leave. <laughs> as much as I would like to stay, if there's not another blue tablet in here, uh, I'm going to have to navigate back pretty far. Keep exploring a bit. All right. All right. Oh, God, we're going to get stuck with the Fawn City again. Everything's fine. All right, I take it back. It's not fine. Ugh. Oh, thank frickity frick. Yes. Yes. Let's go. All right. In that case, let's keep exploring. Let's keep exploring. What was in that other room, I wonder? I wonder if I can build my own blue tablet. Oh wait, actually, 
Will this one go right to my... Jeez, good thing, I, good thing this is the first room I picked. Let me see where it goes exactly. The oh, fuck is this? <laughs> Speckled Rattler, Alien Flora Sample. Uh, do you have food? Can I eat it? <laughs> All right, we're gonna look around here for like exactly three seconds. So this is, nah, I don't, oh, I see, no, I just see the, I just see some skittery skitters. You can eat most things at least once. I can't eat this. Can I? Can't eat this. Um, pink cap? Yeah, no. I don't think I want to be here. Because this is a... Not underwater area which sucks for a variety of reasons. If I fall, getting back up would be horrible. Um, so, all right, that's on the list. Get me out. It's only, it's only 300 meters. Ah! Should I do it? I'm scared. I have a nutrient block. I'm scared. I'll explore at least into the next few rooms here, but if I fall, it's gonna be terrible getting out of here. I don't have beacons. I'm like already lost. Hey, there's water. Wait. Wait, I'm, I'm 1400 away from, wait, this is a. What? Okay, we're underwater. Huh. Huh? What's that sound? that guy right there is that the sound of that or is that the sound of something else hey silver ore come on okay this is fine I didn't pick it up Everything's fine. <laughs> I don't think I can eat these. I see, I think it's just one of those things. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. 100% fine. I'm pretty sure I can't eat those. All right, whatever. 
I don't have a freaking beacon to put here. I don't have a freaking beacon to put here, and that's so bad. Fucking! <laughs> it just swam onto dry land. <laughs> This is dry land. <laughs> oh shit. What a game. What a game this is. <laughs> this The horrible thing about this is I'm not gonna be able to find this again because I don't have a beacon. So that's the part that I'm like, how do I solve this problem? I guess I just go back and get more beacons and then come back again, but... <sighs> I can kind of, yeah, I can, I mean, I guess it's, okay, it's 1,448 meters not quite south. <laughs> south slightly east from the base. 1,448 meters. All right. God, that scared me. It's so freaking dark. Wait, how's the base this way? Before, this is a massive cave that I'm in. Whoa, that was a nice fling. Um. Have I made a serious mistake? Is this a cave that I'm in? Uh-oh. It says I'm close to the surface. I'm a I don't like some of the things I'm hearing. Oh, I can see again. Was it just night? Jesus. Oh yeah, this is kind of like where I found Markiplier, yeah. Okay. Everything's fine. So fine. So very fine. down is actually the fastest strat a lot of the time I think if I can get a good fling I think I want to be landed and then I grapple down and jump yeah look at that that's really nice can I swing around to the side here oh. how about a side swing can that work oh not really the side swings kind of suck Bond suit, please Oh, well, we made it home. Too bad my Cyclops is 200 years away. Eh. I 
I don't know the best way to get back. Probably just go back there with a beacon. With a bunch of beacons. Hmm. Tricky though. I was really hoping the teleporters would sort of interconnect with each other. Carl, this little maneuver is going to cost us 50 years. It uh, wasn't my finest moment, that's for sure. That's for heckin' sure Well, I guess I should salt those. Because I think my nutrient blocks are all in the Cyclops. Alright. Well, I'm sure we'll find it, no problem. He lied. Yeah, we should do a prediction for if I'm ever going to find that again. Because I'm going to go back to it and try to find it. Giving it five minutes. Okay, I got tons of stuff at least. Oh, uh, can I make a blue? Can I make a blue tablet? Can I make a heckin' blue tablet? Uh, yo, two kyanite to make a blue tablet. Let's go. All right. Um, two kyanite to make a blue tablet. Let's make two of them. Why not? It makes sense. Kyanite is blue. It does. Oh. <sighs> I should probably make another purple tablet, too. I don't know. I got so many heckin' tablets on me. And I don't know which ones I'm going to need and which ones I'm not. So it's kind of just yellowing the tablets right now. I'm too scared to bet on this. <laughs> My inventory is tablets, health, water, and a bunch of cured peepers in a dream. Sadly, I think all my nutrient blocks are on the Cyclops. Um, but you know what? Let's just bring like three more cured peepers. It's fine. Look, I got one right here. Everything's going to be fine. So very fine. A walkable base all the way from surface to the lava place. I was afraid of being chased is why I was getting the heck out of there. I was scared. Two of those. Uh, I've got two salts on me. What? Oh, are they all... Oh, do I already have four of them? Okay, I already have four of them. We're probably fine. Smile. We're probably fine now. All right. Can't wait to never find this. You know what would be easier to find it with is the sea moth, but I think I need the prawn suit there. Eventually, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Oh, hey, I got three ion cubes in here. Oh, yeah, beacons. Uh, we don't need beacons. What are you talking about? Nobody needs beacons. How do I make a beacon again? <laughs> what a shit show. All right, um, copper and titanium. At least I have that. I think all my titanium is upstairs. Let's just make sure there's none in here. There isn't any, it's all upstairs. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Video gaming. Um, beacon. That's not it. Yeah, I made two of each tablet. I don't know if I should have, but 
Like, if I knew which ones I need, I would just absolutely get rid of some, but I don't know which ones I need, so. I should just stash them in the prawn suit, probably. All right, three beacons will surely get me enough. I'll have a beacon. I'll have a beacon at the facility, a beacon at the other entrance to the outer world here, and then I'll have one extra beacon. Ah, let's take another, another beacon. As long as I have the copper for it. Do I have one more copper somewhere? Let's make a fourth beacon. I do have extra copper. Um. Okay, let's temporarily just put our creature decoy in here. And then we'll come back and get it later. Make one more beacon. The beaconator. <laughs> All right, I now have four beacons. I have everything. <laughs> I have everything. Where did I put my creature decoy? That creature decoy, I feel like, is gonna bail me out one of these days. I'm gonna keep carrying it till the ends of the earth. All right, nice. Looking good. Let's, um, let's do it. All right, yeah. Prediction, will I find the, <laughs> the entrance again? Oh my gosh. All right, from the base. Welcome aboard, Captain. It was 1,000, I think I was supposed to go just, I think I was supposed to go basically straight south. Oh, from my, it was from uh, this, yeah. I think I was supposed to go straight south and just ever so slightly east. Something like this. Real quick, is the aurora right there? It is. Straight south, ever so slightly east. Thank you very much, Kenzie, for handling those. Oh my goodness. Yum. See if I can kind of go uphill here. Oh, I totally can. Holy shit. That's a really good technique like that. Okay, let's take a pause here because it's about to go down a lot. We're currently 600. Um, what was the distance again? Let me find it. to get crunched and munched. Uh, 1,448. All right, so um, still ways to go. I'm hoping it has some, it was very dark down there though. That's the thing that worries me. I don't know if that was because it was night. I hope that was just because it was night and not just it's always that dark down there. If it is always that dark down there, we're fucking never finding it. We're literally never finding it. Bonk. Yeah. Is that the fucking Markiplier pod? Is that the Freaking Markiplier pod? Are you kidding me? I spent ages searching for that fucking thing. No way. That's it. That's actually it. Oh my god. What a game. What a game. What a heckin' game. All right, here we go. It was down here somewhere. I didn't note the depth, by the way, so that's a bit of a problem. Oh. 
fuck is that? Okay. We are currently... Oh, shit. Oh, we're past it. Um, we're looking for 1,448. So it's actually got to be, like, right here. 1,448. Yo, that's it! <laughs> Easy game! Let's go! You guys have fun in there. All right, let's put a beacon. I cannot believe that the bone sharks love this area. Yeah, oops, I didn't mean to get back in. Hold on, I have like a Windows thing I just accidentally opened. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's drop down a beacon here. <laughs> what a game. Oh, I can't drop it here. Okay, beacon. Wow. Enter beacon name. Um, containment. Uh, teleporter. I think this is the containment center teleporter. I don't know. All right, GG easy. <laughs> I wasn't worried for a second. Uh, shit. Game not jank even a little bit, by the way. I've in before that blocks me off and I can't get the fucking get out of my way. All right. Easiest 80,000 bread. <laughs> oh shit. That worked extremely well. That like triangulation, whatever method worked extremely well. I'm very impressed. Distance variant, yeah. And we're back, and we got tablets. Let's go. Let's heckin' go. I'm gonna laugh so much if there's a freaking blue tablet just on the floor somewhere in here. Oh. It's almost like distance and direction, how you navigate in real life. I have gone home. See, the thing is, is I didn't calculate the depth at all, and it was very dark when I was there originally. If it had been that dark, I still might have missed it. Um, before we explore anything else over there, let's open this one up. So now we can open this. Is this faster than running? Or faster than walking, whatever? I don't know. Ooh. That's how we die. That is how we get the pawn seat stuck and how we die. Get out of my inventory! Go here first. See what we got. What the freakity freak is that? Part of me is slightly worried that that's where they were keeping the Leviathan. Fuck no. <laughs> I, you can't do this where you can't even see underneath it. Uh, is there a, anything? You can't do this shit where I can't even see. Like what if I can't get back out because the thing is jank? Uh! Oh. We are curious 
whether you swim with the current or fight against <laughs> this it. This is so trolly, there's no way out. Okay, I seem to be fine. I seem to be fine. There's literally no way out, which is some fucked up shit, by the way. There does not appear to be any way out. Yeet! Actually, maybe that would work. Oh! <laughs> nope, it's so jank. There's no way out. Are you kidding? Oh my god. I have an idea. It gives you an initial boost. <laughs> nope, there's no way to get the boost later, I don't think. Let's see, what if I wait a sec? Why would you want out? I'm just curious. Alright. No, you. Okay, you can't. The game will not let you out. Whatever. Uh, well, this is fine. I wonder if that's one of the aliens. Should I scan it? If I leave my suit. Why would it still be here though? It's kind of awkward. Whoa. It looks like the ones that were chasing me though. Quite a bit like the ones that were chasing me. Hmm. Um. Are you here to play? Others came here once they built these walls. They played alone, they bored me. Now they're gone. And instead we have you. We are curious whether you swim at the current or fight against it as they did. Huh. Uh... I'm swimming with the current. Mom seems pretty chill. Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. Hmm. So these don't attack me here. Why did it uh, brought up my scanner for a second? Whoa. That's cool. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. I'm like not, uh, yeah, I don't, I have like an infinite oxygen too. Can I go in this? No. What did it, the scan came up on something. I didn't see what it was though. I don't think I can scan mom. Whoa, that's cool. I'm imagining like if I pick one of the fish that she just kills me instantly. <laughs> hmm. seem to scan it um let's see there's some structures around not too sure if they do anything is this a thing doesn't look like it over here Whoa, there's like a whole area. 
Oh, these are the vents that we saw. I was wondering if the stasis rifle would let me go through one of those types of things at some point. Hmm. I wonder if I should be in the prawn suit. <laughs> if it even matters. Another teleporter. I wonder where this one goes. I guess we should find out. Oh, that's how you get out of here. Oops, I just fell. <laughs> anything else to investigate down here oh this looks like a thing are those eggs <laughs> incubator well then this is some shit insert ion cube built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Whoa. Insert hatching enzymes? Interesting. So if I bring the... The Emperor eggs. Wow. Free the babies. Um, sea Emperor eggs. Uncommonly strong shell lining. Organic growth says these may be hundreds or thousands of years old. The alien devices penetrate the outer shell layer, likely to supply them with nutrients and to isolate them. Like many eggs, these do not contain a nutrient supply, um, which is solely exhausted by the embryo. Instead, they exist in form of natural stasis, awaiting appropriate hatching, isn't like some seeds. Uh, there is a high genetic match between these organisms and a leviathan in the vicinity. They appear to be stable and healthy. It's likely that the ideal hatching conditions for the eggs vary considerably. Um, from are very considerably from ideal survival com conditions for the parents. So what are the hatching conditions? It says insert hatching enzymes into the incubator. Hmm. How to find? Hatching enzymes. So basically, Sea Mommy will cure us if we hatch babies. Whoa. This is so cool. Look at that. Damn, that's sick. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Whoa. Oh, I need another cube.
Well, this is pretty cool. Um, quick, thank you so much for the three months. There's three months on Twitch, many more on YouTube. Hope you're well. Thank you very much. With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. New blueprint acquired. Well, that was easy. Uh, an organic substance derived from plants found in the Emperor's natural breeding ground. It's designed to trigger a hatching response. Oh my gosh, so now we need to find all those seeds. Eye stalk, sea crown, fungal sample, ghost weed. I know where the ghost weed is. Bulb bush. Wow, these are all the plants that I've just been passing the whole game. <laughs> How did she upload that to your PDA? <laughs> I'm assuming she told me and then I wrote it down. Taking good notes here. Oh, the Sea Emperor's life cycle. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the Sea Emperor's natural life cycle. This creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off of huge volumes of microorganisms in the shallow water. Family size would be strictly limited by the available food supply. Uh, offspring would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent. Um, there is no evidence to the assumption that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. Uh, even if this is so, there's evidence that introduction of the bacterial life decimated life on the planet, and this would have had catastrophic effects on the emperor. The symbiotic relationship between the specimen and other life forms likely developed as a direct result of the bacterial infection. Those life forms which learned to keep the emperor alive survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean uh, in a rough perimeter around the emperor's location. Since it said it fed off of bacteria for a second, I thought that uh, that it was like keeping the bacterial population in check until they went away, but apparently not. Um, hmm. Those life forms which learned to keep the emperor alive survived with its help. What did the emperor help with? I think I'm missing something. Um, do, 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 do. Normally they would have buried their eggs in shallow waters, but they resorted to artificial hatching enzymes, but they were unable to discover the formula. Aquarium access point. An access point to the alien piping system transporting water to and from. Um, I wonder if I can use that somehow. I've been wondering that since the beginning of the game. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Wait, we didn't see where this goes yet, did we? Whoa! I wish I could make the boosters responsive to how long I hold down this pace bar. Oh, was this just sitting here? Is this the, um... Oh my gosh, that's... Yeah, this is the the old facility. Oh, that's freaking awesome. So it's basically the same place, just outside. That is awesome. Is mommy stuck because she can't fit in the teleporter? That is a good question. Whoever taught the Sea Emperor English did a good job. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Hey, look, it's the Carl box. Oh, well, the game was very kind in not just making you like drown and die there. So the ones outside 
by the way, the ones that were attacking me looked quite a bit like Welcome up. the Sea Emperor. Hmm. What's the relationship there? Ah, oh, my trees. Yeah, let's go. You are supposed to be able to drown there. I feel like she doesn't speak in English, but in brain. Yeah. Sea dragon isn't sea emperor. Similar body shape, but not identical. Okay. You are supposed to be able to drown there? Why was I not able to? You should really scan whenever you see the icon. I totally do. I just don't see the icon. If there's anything else to scan there, I just literally didn't see it. I got, I had a glitch, really? That's weird. Weird. You could scan the portal. Oh, okay. Probably should scan the portal. Uh, okay, let's do that real quick. Wait, did I not put a beacon there? Oh my god, I didn't put a beacon there either. Uh... uh... <laughs> Wasn't it right here? <laughs> Shit. Um. Wait, I could see the entrance to this. Doesn't that mean it was over here? Uh. There it is. All right, I found it. I found it. I figured it would be so easy to see and uh, immediately lost it. Okay. Beacon. Um, mom. <laughs> TP. All right. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness, that was quite the adventure. What in the world is happening right now? Um, I feel like there's still a lot more I need to explore inside of that final place that we were at. Oh, but we also need to go find those things too and bring them back. I think we should explore, I think we should finish exploring um, the stuff that was inside here. There's another TP in here. Let's go back in here. You can scan bomb. I tried. Oh, did I still forget to scan this freaking portal? It's because I'm um, in the prawn suit. Yeah, there are more rooms in the facility. That is not readable. This arch was left inactive and the facility was abandoned like it serves an access point to the surface It is much too small for the Emperor to pass through but would accommodate smaller life forms. Yeah. yeah I don't think I could scan mom um, Do you think I can? It would show up right here, right? If I'm mousing over like this, it would show up if I could I don't, I mean, even if I could, that's, maybe I can, maybe I have to wait for her to stop or something. It, for all I know, chat could be trying to get me killed from her running into me. And that, I, that's what I figure chat's doing. I don't think you can scan her. You tried a bunch. Hmm. Maybe they changed it. I mean, I think I have a scan anyway, don't I? Maybe I don't actually, um, because I don't have her under indigenous life forms and then Leviathans. Yeah, I don't have her under this. Um, wouldn't she show up here? Deceased. Sea dragon. Hmm. Not her, but baby. Huh, okay. Well, um. Anyway, let's try to find that. There was another way out here. 
me see if I can find that again. Bunch of the stuff that I can get for the wait, I for the blueprint for this hatching enzymes. It needed ghost weed. Bull push. Isn't that all this shit? The plant life in this area is growing outside its normal conditions. Other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting this environmental deficit. Hmm. Gabe's feather. Okay, that's not the same. That's not the same as uh, ghost weed bulb bush. Yeah, these are different ones. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Huh. Hmm. I wonder if this is like a way to get uh, any of these samples should you want one. But I don't think I'm being blind and that and there just isn't one. There isn't these here. Like it would be, it wouldn't make any sense if they were. I would have been very surprised. Huh. I feel like I'm just trouncing over everything. Spaduder. Hey, there's an ion cube just sitting here. Don't mind if I do. Okay. You are being blind. Oh, am I? Let me scan. Or am I dumb? What am I mission? Fish. Fuck it is. Cave bush. Secret. This plant consists primarily of a bladder-like sac, and is rare. Sla shares large sections of its genetic code with the membrane tree. What is that? Let's see. Sea crown seed. <laughs> Uh, Frickin inventory full. Oh, it's not that full though. Um, uh, well, I have way too much junk. Let's just put the tablets in here. Well, I just got owned, chat. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Woo! <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, there's more of them anyway. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was just, that's the only one in the game. Um. Okay. Anything else that I missed? Your O2 still isn't depleting. Yeah, I noticed that. Hmm. 
I'm sorry. Cool. Uh, she too fast. Um, okay, that was that hole. Let's see what else we can find. This looks... Oh, not quite. It's like, is that something? Did I scan this? Blue barnacle cluster. I don't think that's on the list. Bulb bush. Uh... <laughs> YOLO! <laughs> Oh, this is just another entrance to the same place. Okay, I see. They gave you, um, I like, I think this game did that in many different situations where they kind of tried to give you multiple ways of finding things. And I appreciate that. Okay, anything else? that one red? Is that normally like that? Game's getting glitchier. the other portal out, I think. Okay, cool. Um, anything else to find in here? I am pretty intrigued by these vents, but also, like, I mean... He's a peeper. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, think I can fit. aquatic plant. All right. Yeah, this is like a nice, it does seem like this is a nice way to just be able to scan stuff. I swear I saw the scan thing come up. Scan. Yeah, I don't know. I don't 
I don't know if I missed anything. If you save, I'm playing on hardcore. Okay, um, well, if there's nothing else in here, I think we're gonna go back to the regular facility. Let's just take the TP out. If there's, I don't know if there's anything else in here or not. I don't necessarily see anything. Your states aren't changing at all. Oh, you just mean like to save and exit? Um, the only way I can save is to just exit. Yeah, maybe I should. Let's see if it works once I go through the TP. I thought it was just a thing about that room. Um, I just thought it was like some weird state about that room that was intended. <laughs> See if it goes down now. Let's see, my health is at 111. Let's see if that, and my water's at 100. Let's see if either of them go down now. Let's see, okay, that was that. That's the TP up there. There's a ton of rooms here. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Okay. Whoa! Are there more portals here? What? Oh, come on. oh I, I thought I got lucky finding the portal! <laughs> No, this is just this is just the central hub with portals to everywhere, isn't it? No, I could have gone to any of them. Yo, fail stream, hello. Or wait. Oh, it's another hidden Is this a different hidden cave? Wait a second. Oh my goodness. There's a million of these, isn't there? And I just I thought I found like the only one. No. I don't know if I need any more of that. Yo, Fail, have you played this game? This game is awesome. Um, by the way, my health and stuff is not going down still. Whoa, where's this? We're 600 meters down. Holy shit, I am very far away from that. Uh, how far am I from my base? Wait, where's, do I have it showing? Uh, there it is. Okay, I'm 1300 away from that. Well, let's just, Oh, is this in the, this is in the river, isn't it? Whoa. Huh? Welcome aboard, Captain. Not this shit again, game. Not this shit again, game! Come on! We figured out what happens in one of those, Zagro. Yeah, it's behind one of the waterfalls. Can you just let me drop a beacon in peace, please? Waterfall secret. Yeah, the oxygen's bugged. All right, we need to relock. Well, I'm just gonna get off in a second here, but I wanna um, just like investigate a couple more of these. Wait, did I come in from right there? Yeah, I came in from right there. What's this? Or is this just a path up and around? Game is bugged. Do, 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 do.
Is this just an entire thing of teleporter rooms? I wonder where they all go. That's also wild that I didn't find any of these. That's so cool. Oh, this is not a teleporter room. What's this? This room appears to be a biological archive storing more oh. than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Whoa. Can I scan them? Looks like not. Maybe these can be scanned? Is my game is my game bugged or can I not actually scan this? Uh okay. C Emperor Leviathan. Integrating new PDA data. C Emperor Leviathan. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upward to accommodate this species. And then research data indicate that despite its uh, this species, um, despite its size, the species feeds entirely on microorganisms or filters from the water, which themselves depend on a complicated ecosystem of plant and animal life. Large ovary-like organs are in the creature's middle section, section that it produces eggs. This emperor manufactures enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food, it will occasionally expel it into surrounding waters. This is found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium. Its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived the outbreak. Oh, so basically these things were neutralizing the bacteria but if it's if they don't if they aren't swimming around now then they're not and i wasn't it wasn't neutralized for me i don't get that yet comparative analysis the size of metabolic rates that it's 1600 years old extensive internal external scar tissue suggests it had lived well in excess of its peak lifespan Assessment, while a healthy emperor specimen may have held the potential as a cure, it is unlikely any research subjects survive quarantine procedures. Hmm. Oh, this is this this is the entry? Okay. Well, this is just under a terminal, but not as like an actual fauna, I suppose. Mini egg. Much egg. That's a big un. That's a big one. <gasps> okay, so I don't seem to be able to scan anything here. So this is all just... <gasps> that one's not... That one's just out. <laughs> um, <gasps> that's fine, I'm sure. They're like you, hoarding eggs. Yep. fact about the bug it is so common that people in their playthrough thought it was intentional you couldn't die as it is such an important part of the game mr pier that is exactly what i thought happened <laughs> that is 100 percent what i was thinking was happening so there's all these rooms over here oh god that scares me every time holy shit thought it was mom magic You clipped through the wall and died. If I lost a run like that, I would probably rage. That's my last ion cube. Gonna have to find a way to get more of them. You didn't scan a lot of stuff in the room. Okay. We will do that when we head back. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't we have infinite cubes just right out there? So this one is depth 300. Is that a thing? No, it is not a thing.
Yeah, I forgot about the cube generator, all right? A lot happened. Crazy things have happened since then. Not more of these fuckers. Go away. Where is this? 1700 meters away. This is probably the furthest I've been. Ah, uh, this is our last beacon. I don't know what to call this one, to be honest. Hey, are those a thing that I need? Hold on, just a second. <laughs> what do I need again? No, not those. Bulb bush. Wait, is that bulb bush? Maybe that is something I need. You bulb bush. Pygmy bulb bush. Is that a different thing? Bulb bush sample. Uh, what do I need? Bulb bush sample. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, what's that? Gold. I wonder if... <laughs> This would be kind of weird, but I wonder if all of these lead to one of the pieces. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Edit beacon name, Bolt Bush. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Now you're thinking with portals. All right, let's go get some more ion cubes and scan the stuff in the main room. Into the portal we go. Gosh, I'm so hungry. DoorDash, hurry with my dinner. I am starving, Yuichi-kun. Uh, I'm just gonna scan this stuff in the main room here and then I'm gonna go eat, I think. And we'll pick this back up. Um, probably not tomorrow, because I'm doing lab work all day tomorrow. Probably the day after that, we'll pick up in here. So I didn't scan. Oh, Ancient Blade. What the heck? Thank you for streaming. Thanks for watching, Black Stats. Ancient Blade. Earth Blade, dating back to 13th century. <laughs> the the blood samples match the DNA of seven separate heads. I <laughs> get it, of state. Um, this supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient space born civilization engaged in the surreptitious study of less developed species. Wow, alien carving. Look kind of like a yin yang. Uh, this carving is hundreds of thousands of years old from a natural fiber. Oh, aliens visited Earth and influenced the development of ancient Chinese philosophy. The concept of yin and yang is universal. Whoa. <laughs> All right. The ancient aliens. Let's go. Alien statue. I'm not saying it was aliens. The pyramid uh, resembles vines. Perhaps a building of religious import. Or even the gravitational pull of their home world. This is like the lore room. Holographic projector. It's likely used a communication relay. It's a it's very nice that they put all of their stuff inside of this nice museum for me to find. Rudimentary tablet. A less complex tablet. Legacy. Legacy support. How <laughs> uh, you know you've worked in tech before when you, you say things like legacy support. That's right, I can literally just drill this thing. Infinite cubes. <laughs> the prawn suit is still... <laughs> still my favorite just random thing. Though the Cyclops is also really cool too. Amazon Fire Tablet. There was one I didn't scan on the other side. Okay. Um, okay, it looks like there's just like another teleporter in here. <laughs> so that's where I came in, that's where mom was, and then there's three rooms on this side and three rooms on this side. Um, 
One was the egg plate. Was it egg place and two teleporters? And then... Did you go above the door? Um, nope. Didn't go here yet. So I don't think I went to all the teleporter rooms yet either. Oh wait, no, I did. I did go here. Yeah, I did go here. Yeah. This was like the egg casing. Yeah. Did this. All right. Not the upgrades. Well, we didn't even get the prawn soft locked again. All right, y'all. Um, we are gonna stop there for today. But this is pretty epic. Uh, we, <laughs> we found so much stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do next time is I'm going to activate all the teleporters and then see if they all happen to drop me off right by these uh, different samples. That would be pretty awesome. I don't know if there's anything else we need to build. There's still a bunch of, um, hmm. In the um, codes here, the alien facilities, there's still Sanctuary A, Sanctuary B. This is, I think that this is primary containment facility. I think that's where we are right now. We found the thermal power facility and we found the disease research facility. So I don't think we found the offsite lab yet, or maybe that was the other one we found. Can't remember if we found the offsite lab or not. Primary containment facility. Yeah, this is where I am. Hmm. Um, thank you, Cajun. Have a wonderful evening, too. Uh, Quicks, thanks again. Red Zone Fresh, Timmy, Kupo, Frey. Thank you all so much for the subs. Greatly appreciate it. And thank you, everybody else, for coming by. Hope you had a wonderful time. See you later, Electric. Bye, Yuichi. Bye, Nikto.